Mind your wankers. Because I was handling it. Come on, you. No? Look, about last night. Oh, we'll talk about it. I'm fine. Can you do me a favour, though? Can you tell Audrey I won't be in today? Why not? I'm not feeling too good. I think I might be coming down with a cold or something. We look all right to me. Well, I'm not. All right, fine. I'll sort it. Is that all, though? Do I need to have my pill now? Uh, yeah, you do, mate. I'll get you in. It's better. The hell have you been doing out there? Cleaning these. Thought Michael and I might do a bit of yomping while we're away. Is that what you're calling it these days? Just go easy on him, yeah? Try not to wear him out. You're right. Maybe just a little. Hi. Hey. Oh, well, I'll have to get taxes. Can you not get the insurance company to fix you up with a courtesy car? Hey, you could get an upgrade. You could get one of them convertibles and we could go cruising. Like in that film, then. Um, oh, Thelma and Louise. Oh, you mean the one where they drive off the cliff in the end and die? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather stick to taxis if you don't mind. <laughs> all right, all right, maybe not a convertible, but I'd still get some swanky. Okay. What do you reckon, David? David? What? Right. I need to bite me head off. Sorry, I've just had a lot on my mind lately. Hello, Salon. How can I help? What? Yeah, that's, that's me, I'm his dad. What's happened? Is he all right? Put it up, babe. All right, what's the rush? I'm starving. Could eat a scabby dog. I think I'd rather have a salad. Um, do you know what, actually, darling? You, you crack on, I'll probably see you in the end of it. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Go on. Enjoy your scabby dog. You feeling better? You are. Well, David said you were ill. Oh, we're a bit rough this morning. I'm all right now. Just thought I'd get a bit of fresh air. Round here. You'll be lucky. Come on, Kylie, I thought we were mates. We are. Right, so tell me the truth. I'm going to see Callum. I thought you saw him the other day. I can't find him. Well, maybe you had a lucky escape. Look, I don't want to do this, but I have to. Why? Because I need to find out what's wrong with Max. Well, you know what's wrong with Max. The doctor told you he's got ADHD. And what if Callum's passed something else on to him, eh? Like what? I don't know. All I do know is it worked right in the head and we were together, so it could be flaming anything. <sighs> right, fine. I'm coming with you. What for? Because I'm worried about you. Eva, this has got nothing to do with you. Well, yes, it does, actually, because I'm your mate. Come on, then. This is it. Can you just give me a ring? Or better still, just come on. Right. Are you gonna tell me then or what? Tell you what? What's really the matter with you? Because I don't believe all this nonsense about you having stomach ache. I have. Then how come you've managed to scoff four chocolate biscuits since the time I've picked you up from school? Doesn't mean I don't feel well. You do realise every time you tell a lie, a teenage mutant ninja turtle dies? You're right. Do they really? No. Just joking. I just want to know what's up with you, mate, that's all. I don't like it when you and Mum fight. Or when... Or when she's sad. Well, who said she's sad? I've seen her like that before. Well, why don't we think of a way to cheer her up then, huh? What do you reckon? This looks nice. Are you being sarcastic? Well, considering the last pub we went to had been demolished and the one before that had a barmaid that looked like Wayne Rooney in a boob tube, I'd say it's a vast improvement. So was he sure some Callum's local then, or...? One of them. In fact, I think it might be where we first met. Wow. Exactly hearing violins. It was more like police sirens back then. We don't have to do this, you know. You might not. Come on, let's go. Has it changed much then? A few more stains on the furniture, apart from that. Pretty much the same. So what attracted you to it then? Cheap beer, lock-ins every night. And usually, if it got boring, things kicked off. <laughs> All right, Macca. Flaming out, Kylie. <laughs> this 
is my mate, Eva. Hey, go, 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 go. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Any chance of buying us a drink for old time's sake? Whatever he's having. Well, you're looking good. Keeping out of trouble. I'm trying. Not too hard, I bet. Hey, did she ever tell you the story about the bus? No, it was nothing. Oh, brilliant. Me, her, Callum and a couple of others were outside having a drink when this bus pulls up. No one on it, just the driver like. Anyway, he jumps off, runs into the pub for a waz or something, but he drops his keys. Kylie grabs them, we jump on, she starts it up and away we go. You stole an actual bus? We're only a single decker. So what are you doing back here? Not getting all nostalgic, are you? I'm looking for Callum. Well, Michael's running a bit late. He'll be here in a minute. Mm. I actually came to see David, see how Max is doing. Yeah, well, see for yourself. Oh, my goodness, what on earth's going on here? We're making my mum a cake. Yeah, it's Max's recipe, actually. It's basically just a load of chocolate stuffed with as many sweets as you can find, and it's not bad as it goes. Oh, well, well, he's certainly on the mend. Mm. She's going to love that cake, Max, my love, honestly. Ed, I'll leave you to it, and hopefully tomorrow we'll all be germ-free, yeah? <laughs> And you, lady, come here. Oh. You have a wonderful, wonderful Ooh. trip. OK. Thanks, Mum. And if you need anything, you just make sure you let David know I am. Oh, come on, I'm not some helpless pensioner. I can look after myself. No, well, it's just that... Well, you have just had an accident. And it was just a prank. And besides, at the look of Milado, I think he's got his hands full, don't you? Bye-bye, <laughs> love. Bye. Hey, girl. Yeah? Do you fancy a food fight? Don't you dare. I'm sitting here getting tanked up all day. So what do you do then? I think. All oh, right, OK. About anything in particular or...? About how to get rich, make a million, so I never have to work again. You've never had a job in your life? I had a paper route once. So what would you do then? I don't know if you won lottery or it. I'd get seriously bladdered for about a month straight. That goes without saying. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Then I go on holiday. Where? I don't know. Somewhere up, though. And then I'd buy a house. Puffing flash, you know. Somewhere nice. Quiet. Maybe with a garden so I could grow stuff. Nothing illegal, right? Just flowers and that. <sighs> Drink up. What? We've been here long enough. We ought to get going. How about one for the road? Another time, eh? Just go into the bog, then we'll get off. Okay, we don't be too long. All right. You've got beautiful eyes. Has anyone ever told you that? They're like big blue space hoppers floating what in. Did... All right. I've got a boyfriend, thank you. It's all right. I've got a girlfriend. Wow, lucky woman. She's not. She's horrible cow. Only wants me for me body. <laughs> anyway. Enough about her. I want to talk about us, because you must have felt it and all. Felt what? That connection. <laughs> like electricity. The first time we saw each other. <laughs> I think you've got your wires crossed. Is he bothering you? No, we weren't that. I was just... I was uh... talking to her. Go get the drinks. <sighs> oh, hello. Sit yourself down, why don't you? Ta, ah, don't mind if I do. So I've not seen you round here before. No, I don't think you will again. Oh, that's a pity. Well, maybe you should get out a bit more. Maybe I should. So where would you like to go? <laughs> Look, I really appreciate your help, but I can handle myself, Ta. Yeah, I can see that. So what's your name? Why do you want to know? So I can have it tattooed above my heart. <laughs> it's Beryl. <laughs> you don't look like a Beryl. Well, looks can be deceiving. Why, what's yours? Depends who's asking. All right, Kylie. All right, Callum. <laughs> I think Callum, Callum. I did, you were back on the scene. You're here for one of two things, money or trouble, or both. Can't I come back to me or local now and again? Last time you were here, blazing squad on the jukebox. How would you know? We've been inside for the past two years. <sighs> one year, ten and a half months. 
If we're going to get picky. Mm, I've heard a lot about you. And my charity work with starving kiddies. <laughs> yes, something like that. You never said how fit he was. I expected some twonk in a vest with a pit bull, but he did used to have a dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got a few vests and all. <laughs> Twice in a week! Yeah, right, Jen. So what are you doing back here? Best thing you ever done was leave this place. I'm to see you, of course. Mm. We've just lost track of time. We've got to get going. Yeah, yeah, Kylie. Oh, I'm just buying a big round. You always used to be a cheapskate. People change. Let's just have one, eh? You can catch up with him. Yeah. Like it's ever just the one round here. There we go. Right, where's Gail when you need her? Yomping with Michael. <laughs> right, let's try and pretend that cleaning is just as much fun as bombing each other on the PlayStation, yeah? You'll ruin it if you keep doing that, mate. I do try to be good, so I won't get angry or cry, but sometimes I forget. Yeah, well, no one's perfect, pal. Least of all your mum. Mrs Clark said we should tell our mums how special they are, because no one else does, and they work really hard. Well, yeah, they do. So can we make a dinner as well? Uh, I think the cake's enough, don't you, mate? The serviettes like the pizza place. Max, just when I finish tidying all this up, I don't think there'll be enough time, pal. I'll work really hard, promise. And I'll do all the washing up. What? Nice one. Put it there, rude boy. Boom. Do you think she'll like it? Well, if it's hot and covered in cheese, I think she'll love it, yeah. Can I ring her and tell her that I've made dinner? Don't spoil the surprise. I'll tell you what, though, you could ring her and find out what time she's going to be home, and then that way we'll know what time to put that beast in the oven at just the right time. Phone's side of my bed. So the mum appreciates all this effort. I've had some mad nights out. Still off red now. Oh, yeah, banging. Updating Max's star chat and washing Lily's bibs. <laughs> sure you don't want one? I'd rather lick the bottom of that drip tray. Ta. Don't tell me. She's done that and all. You lot would be shocked at some of the stuff Eva's got up to on the sly. Ah, I've got a dark side, have you? No wonder you and her are busy mates. She's all right, aren't you? She's a great mum. Oh, yeah. Drink that, eh? We'll get off. Oh, stay! Not seen the grumpy cow for ages. Just another hour. What's another hour? Or two. Is that him? What's the D stand for? Derek. Dumper. <laughs> Ain't you gonna answer it? Kylie? Hmm. Maybe wifey's having too much fun here. Hello? <sighs> Hello? Mum? I can't hear you. Yeah, give it here, Paul. Kylie? What, what, what's that? Are you in a pub? A pub? What? No, 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 not you. Just some idiot in the bar. <laughs> Kylie, when are you coming back? Look, I'm a grown woman, David. I'll be home when I'm ready. Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> she's, um, she's already eaten, mate. But we haven't. So let's get it in the oven, yeah? Your Darren? His name's David. He's got loads of stuff. Yeah, he's good at blow dries. <laughs> uh, he's a uh, hairdresser. But the thing he's best at is being a dad to another man's kid. Yeah, he is. And he'll be wondering where you are. Look, if you want to go, go. Well, are you stopping? Nice to meet you. Max at all. It's for drugs. I mean, nothing to do with this. She seems nice. A bit thick, but nice. you got to get his tea on. Did he ever get your tea on? I weren't a living scene. Joey Miller's outside. Is he still knocking about? Aye. 
What's he saying? That he's going to set fire to your car if you don't get what you don't. And if you don't go outside, he's coming in. Just leave it. He won't do nothing. He'll end up back inside. You never change, dear. I'm out of it. Ooh. What are you doing? Does he look like me? Has he got my nose? Lucky boy. He's got no what to do with you. He didn't know you from Ben 10. Call this David Dad, does he? So, if you're not here for maintenance... We don't need any. What are you doing? My number. In case you want me to sort you out. On the house. At least I can do, considering. Joey Miller. I'm not like that no more. No? No. No one changes that much. Perfect waste of good makeup, that. We'll see. I am so sorry. So am I. For going here while I was out of line. I'm not drunk, I swear down. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have run away. I always run away. Well, the old me did anyway. Yeah, well, I loved the old you. And what about now? Doesn't mean I'm OK with what you did. All right, I'm not. Why would you be? <sighs> What's all this? Oh, I got lasagna, chips, gravy. It's Max. And, um, that? <laughs> yeah, that's him and all. He loves his mum. And what about you? Do you still love me? Would I make you you if I didn't? <sighs> wow. <laughs> How lucky am I? Sit then. Uh, I'll just wash my hands. Who calls it you anyway, apart from Nick? What's that, babe? Well, no one says, "Aya, can I have some chips, please?" And you do that. <laughs> you ready? Wait. Thank you. What for gravy? For everything. this time. Madam still spark out. Oh, she likes to do all her sleeping during the day. I'm sorry if I was a pain yesterday. It's OK, you're fine. Come here. I love you. I love you too. Hey, do you know what I fancy doing today? What? Well, as soon as I'm not working, I thought me, you and the kids could go off somewhere. Oh, yeah? Where? Dunno. Anywhere, just run away for the day. <laughs> run away? Yeah. Beyond nuts. Why not? We could do it. You have to do something crazy now and then, otherwise you go mad. Run away? What? Like, do the great escape? Like a family of outlaws? I could go to the seaside. <sighs> yeah, OK. I like it. Bit of paddling, donkeys, fish and chips. Yeah, we'd have a brilliant time. Mm, we would. Except. Except what? I've got Mrs Greenslade in at nine o'clock and she's asked for me especially. We're already in trouble with the school, aren't we, for taking Max out to go and see Becky. And Lily's got Tiny Tots Club this afternoon, so... So sure, I'll take it that's a no, then. Well, we could do it this weekend. Oh, but the fun is doing it now. Please, babe. No, we could, we could still have fun this weekend. <sighs> Fine. It's a great idea, though. Yeah, full of a me. We'll go wait, Lily. Did my... Kylie, are you busy? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I wouldn't ask, but I've got this lurgy thing. I feel dead rough. I've got a doctor's appointment, but I just need someone to watch the police show just for half an hour. No, I can't. Sorry. No, I'll pay you double time. Look, I'm going out with my mates tonight, and I need drugs, and I need them now. I've got stuff to do. <clears throat> what stuff? Work stuff. Fly me typical. I had a decent night out in ages, and then I go and get ill. Yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. 
Ah, oh, I guess you couldn't stay away. I need to practice my ball. Aye. Off. We're in the middle of a game. You want... All yours? Ta. Ah. Who's your friend? No idea. Could be in there. No, Ta. Oh, forget. You're a married woman now. You want him, you have him. He's a bit old for me. Are you being faithful to Obby then? I'm doing my best. I take that as a no. I take it Callum's still dealing then. Gets me what I need. You after something? Just wondering. He's still looking. You've had enough of this. Do you want a picture? When well, you don't change. What are you talking about? You owe me. You're a total weirdo. You're a messed up smackhead. Oi! What's going on here? It's all right. I can handle this. You don't even remember, do you? Remember what? You torched my car. <gasps> Red mini black roof. Yeah. That was yours? Yeah. That was a rubbish car. It was worth two grand. It was worth two pence. Is that why you've been staring at me? But I want compensation. Yeah? Well, I want to smack you in the face with this pull cue. Which one do you reckon's most likely to happen? Go, girl! I once seen to take out two guys with a pull cue. It's a weapon of choice. You bottled it because of you. Your shot. See, time to run home, Cinderella. I'm OK. Tell me about Max. It's got nothing to do with you. Is he like me? <sighs> I hope not. Hey, I'm not thick. I can read and do sums. He wouldn't do so bad taking after his dad. He might be disappointed. He's not robbed or beaten anyone up yet. Maybe he takes after you. Not much hope for him either way. <sighs> Must have been hard bringing him up on your own. I'm not on my own anymore. Yeah. I forgot. So what are you doing back here? I need a bit of help. Yeah. What kind of help? You no. Know. Something to take the edge off. Something to keep you going. Get you through your day. Yeah. You sure? It's just for now. Just till things settle down. Of course it is. Yeah. I reckon I can help you out. Welcome home. <laughs> Mine. Nah, no, you're all right. Have you got the arts for him? As if. There you go. <clears throat> Cheers. Where's mine? Down the bar. Cheers. You'll be choked, shut. So? What? Come on, then. What can I do for you? Nothing heavy, just a bit of whiz. Thought you said you didn't do drugs anymore. I don't. Not really. So why do you want this? Trying to get the hoovering done quicker? Funny. Or is it me you want? <laughs> In your dreams. Stuck-up cow. Think you're too good for me now, eh? Oh, we're always too good for you. Look, are you going to sort me out or what? So, when's Carly going to be home? Oh. Your guess is as good as mine. Phone's off. Didn't you tell me she'd gone to Gorton to do someone's nails? Well, that's what she told me. And you don't believe her? Not really, no. Oh, David. I know things have been a bit rocky for you these last few weeks. I just... Well, I thought you'd turned a corner. She tells me she's happy. Goes on about how much she loves me and the kids and alive. Well, there you are, then. Yeah, I mean, it just seems fake, in a way, like she's forcing herself to say it. I, I know she's had it hard in the past, I'm not saying she's not, but I still don't give her an excuse to go whenever she feels like it. Yeah, well, maybe she needs to let off a bit of steam, right? I try and be supportive as I can, but 
just chucks it back in my face. You were cut out for a normal life. Rather be dead than bored, that's what you used to say. I'm not bored. So you get off on the whole domestic goddess thing. Do you bake your own bread? Proper little Stepford wife now, eh? Don't you dare patronise me. I must admit, I'm surprised you got another pounder. You struggled enough with Max. We're fine now. So, you finally realised you're his mum, not the telly. But just give me what I came for and I can... I'm not having a go. You were always wild. That's all I'm saying. Just shut up and give me what I came for. <laughs> you had a brilliant life, you and me. What, off our faces all the time, scrapping like dogs? Yeah, brilliant. We had a laugh, though, didn't we? We answered to no one. But you killed to have that life back. <sighs> there you go. You know where I am when you want more. This is a one-off. Of course it is. It is. That's what they all say. Oh, here we go. Here comes the big lecture. Oh, Carly, listen to yourself. All this aggression. What have you got to be so angry about? You've got responsibilities now. You can't just go off drinking when the mood dates you. Carly, I've been there, love. I know. Your kiddies depend on you. You are the one that are supposed to provide stability in their lives. Oh, wind your neck in, Audrey. It's nag, nag, nag. Uh, well, I think you better get your act together, lady, otherwise you'll find you'll be losing absolutely everything. Oh, trials and tribulations of family life. Uh, never gets easier. No, sadly not. Anyway, how are you holding up, Ken? Oh, just trying to keep strong, you know, but a uh, bit of an uphill struggle. Um, Looks like you have troubles of your own. Oh. Do you know what? Our time of life, we deserve peace and quiet. <laughs> if only. <laughs> anyway, that's me. Uh, this bottle of gin at home with my name on it. Well, they don't call their mother's ruin for nothing. No. <laughs> a snifter, as Alfie used to say. Hey, up, lass, there you go. A quick snifter to help you through the night. Have one for me. I will. Good luck. I hope it works out. You do. Go on then. What? Audrey's just given me a gobful. Your turn now. I don't know what's going on in your head at the moment. You're all over the place. But I want you to know you can talk to me. I've been lying to you. I haven't been working. I've been sat in the pub half the day. Well, I'm not going to fight. You're back now. That's the main thing. And the kids have really missed you. Don't say that. Well, it's true. They're better off without me. What? They love you, don't they? Even when you're being a cow. No questions asked. And so do I, so come here. Get off me! Why are you being like this? Kylie, you can't keep running away. Hold it, Buggy Max. Where are we going? Just off for a walk. I don't want to go for a walk. I want my mum. Yeah, well, maybe we'll see when we're out and about. She'll be back, mate. She's not leaving us, is she? No, your mum loves you. All right? Don't forget. Come on. 
What am I supposed to say to Max every time you just run off like that? I know. Where'd you go? I just met some mates, I went to a club. What mates? Just some people I bumped into. Oh, well, Lily woke up three times. I'm sorry. Should be. Well, you know what I'm like? I let things build up. I have to let off a bit of steam. Well, what about us? I know I'm rubbish. But will you stop saying that? I chose you dinner. You keep saying that. What, what does that make me? OK. I'm lucky. Really lucky. I don't want to mess up the best thing that's ever happened to me. Well, that's exactly what you are doing. But I'll do better. Listen, today, I'll sort the kids. You can go to court. I'll drop Max off at school and I'll take the little tiny tots. No, I'll do that. I'll just have to be late to court. Oh, please. I owe you. You go get changed. I'll sort the kids. I'll have your tea on the table when you get home. And how do I know you're not going to bug off into town with your new mates? I won't. I feel, feel better now. Oh, look at the state of you, Kylie. I've seen zombies with more life in them than you. And I really wanted to go to court today. Yeah, you can. You can trust me, you know. Yeah. I need something. Now. Well, well we all have needs. Oh, well, if I'm wasting my time. Touchy. I'm in a rush. It's the problem with life today. Everyone's rushing here and there. No one takes time to smell the flowers. Did you not hear the rush thing? I heard, and I'll sort you out, like I always do. But I have to go, the stuff I need to do. OK. But first, something I want to show you. But... Yeah, check out the sound system. Yeah, nice one. I was going to go for the soft top version, but... Perfect for those Manchester tropical summers. Yeah, I can hardly rock around with an umbrella up now, can I? Callum, look, I weren't messing earlier. I really need to make a move now. Catch. Don't say I never give you nothing. Snap. Ooh. You got a scratch. What? Are you joking? Yeah, I am joking. Hiya. Thought you had the kids. Oh, Nick said you'd have them for an hour while I nipped out. How was it? Was it horrible? What happened? Sorry I'm late. I just stick kettle on. Town were a nightmare. The buses. And there was a crash on the ring road. Yeah, it was horrible. Did you get caught in it too? No, the trial. Where I've been all day. You just asked me about it. Sorry, I'm a bit all over at shop. I was going to have your tea ready. What do you fancy? I even said how she died. Well, now she died, dear, but she was murdered. Can we talk about something else other than flipping Tina? I've said about two things. I know, but it's really starting to bring me down. You know, don't make me anything. I'm gonna get some chips. Kyla, where she spoke to our Leah. Oh, Maria, please, not again. I don't want any more sniping today, thank you. Hey, listen, I'm fine. It's her that needs to be put on a leash. Morning. Morning, my love. Are you all right, Kylie? Mm. Still a bit under weather. Oh, well, with any luck, there'll be a few more kids in in a bit that she can yell at. That might put a spring in your step, eh? Are you starting off? I didn't even take my coat off yet. Look, will you two just put a lid on it, please? Peter's getting sent down for murdering Tina today, and all you can do is bitch. David is right, and I think that should give us all pause for thought. OK, David, love, go and put the kettle on. It's fine, I'll do it. Ooh, coffee for me, Ta. Or would you like me to write it down for you? Oh, now stop it, that's enough. Kylie. Now, Mrs. Alexis phoned about her one o'clock mobile appointment with her and now her Celia. Fine. Yes, OK. And I hope that you'll follow the uh, hygiene procedure nail-wise because I have a feeling she's really quite high up in dermatology. We'll miss you. Oh, Mrs. A, hi. Hi. Now you're with Maria this morning, aren't you? Oh, good luck with that one. I'll make the bruise. Ignore her, Mrs. A, lot. Come and sit down. How's your Sam doing? I'm drinking again. I'm sure Mrs. Alexis. One. Oh. Uh, yes, she's really got quite a rush on at the moment, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, she's frantic. Mm. You want to slow down a bit, Kylie, love? You're going to wear yourself out? All right, you two, give her a break. Look, I'll bring you back on it. OK, love. Yeah, bye-bye. Uh, it's uh, Mrs Alexis. I'll, I'll just take it in the back. Oh. So I'll go with her, innit? No, of course you can't. 
Come here. Look, I'll come to you. Uh, Mrs. Alexis says that Ursula's got to be somewhere, so they've asked if I can move the appointment up. Oh, right, okay. Well, do you want me to pick Max up? No, you're all right. I can do it. I better get going. Yeah, all right, I'll take care. Blimey. You look far too sober for my liking. Side of the little lady, please. Don't patronise me, Callum. Well, that's a fancy word for such a pretty little thing. <laughs> I don't want a drink, it's too early. Oh, work at Princess Di, it's only apples. Yeah, think of it as one of your five a day. Pull tables free. Absolutely. Fancy a game? No, I don't fancy a game. Why are you so wound up? I'm not wound up, I just want to know what was so urgent. What do you want? I think we need to talk about what you want first, don't we? <laughs> Bless you. No, it means thank you in Japanese. Oh. Well, what uh, would you like pick a lily on your corned beef sandwich in Japanese? I only got as far as the A's. <laughs> Hello, love. Kylie not with you? Oh, she's on her mobile job. She feeling any better? She's fine. Michael's been reading up about Japan and its customs. Oh, well, that'll come in handy around here. I was fascinated with Japan as a kid because, well, it was so different to my childhood. It was like another world, a, a fairy tale. Yeah, well, if you're going to have another trip down memory lane, you won't mind if I pass. I'm going to have this in garden. I don't know what's going on between those two at the moment. I should keep my mouth shut, boring all and sundry with my stories. No, you should not. I love hearing your stories. Don't know much about Japan. Have you been? No. And I don't suppose I'll ever get the chance to now. Now, you never know. All the way. Down. 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 What is she doing? She lost. Down in one, them's the rules, you know that. Hey! Hey! We have a laugh though, don't we? Admit it, you just can't stay away. Right, come on then, what's so urgent? <sighs> Max, I want to see him. Eh? Not so weird, is it? He's my son. We were interested before. I feel sick. <laughs> oh, that'll take too long. Can't in one. What are you, 15? Change, so have you. Oh, yeah. Can't in one hand propping up the bar, your crony's phoning all over you. Barely recognise you. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. But Callum, it's a bad idea. He's my flesh and blood. How can meeting his dad be anything but a good idea? I bet he's a looker. Bound to be. I can't deal with this now. I've got to pick him up from school. Bessie Street's two bus changes from here. I, I can take you. He'd be made up seeing you get out of my motor. No, I'm fine on the bus. I want to see him, Kylie. Wow. What is the big emergency? Oh, well, I'm sorry for interrupting your three-hour lunch. Uh, I was supporting our local community centre, actually, David. Being the ex-Lady Mayoress, I know how important all these things are. Yeah? Mm. Well, Mrs. aylot has been on the phone and she's not happy with her hair, so she's coming back later to have it redone. Only Maria's gone to go and get Liam. Well, why couldn't you do it? That's what I said. And do you know what she said? I want the organ grinder, not the monkey. You believe that? Give me right, Saki cow, that Mrs. Aylot. <laughs> Hello, Audrey's. Oh! Mrs. Alexis, hi, love. Isn't that Kylie's lady? Sorry? Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry about that. Look, I'll find out what happened and I'll phone you back. OK, love, sorry, bye. What's she done now? She never turned up. <gasps> oh, sorry. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. My friend! Right, well, your mates are there. You go and play with them for a bit. Are you off your head? A bit early for me. That was in the area. I thought I'd swing by side to the little fella. David might have seen you. No, that just adds to the buzz. Hop in, I'll give you both a lift home. Don't you ever come near Max again. I'm not just any old passerby. We are related. 
Helen, get lost now. <laughs> Letting one of the dads know that Max can't make the party. So you're walking back then? Yeah. Max, hold me, aren't you? Mm. Hiya. Right, five minutes TV, then it's tea time, okay? You alright? Yeah, fine, thanks. You alright, Max? I met a man in a posh car at the school gates. Did you? <laughs> one of his mates' dads show off. Who? Which dad? Uh, Zane's dad, you know, thingy. What's for tea? Oh, Mum's done shepherd's pie again. Oh, I dropped this flyer for her at work today. They're doing cookery classes for kids. I thought we'd sign Max up, you know, he likes cooking. So, could be a laugh. Mm, if you like. I don't seem too excited. Well, it depends when it is. I can't drop one of my mobile clients. How'd you get on with your client, by the way? Yeah, fine. Um, while I was there, though, I got a call about another job, so I'll only be about an hour. All right, fine. What are you playing at? First customer of the night. Calm down. You stay away from Max, do you, eh? Do you want a drink? We've got some great gear. I don't want any. What if David was there? I only went to have a shuff, dear. See how he turned out? I'll send you a photo. He's <laughs> got my eyes. He'd be good in a fight. I'm not as good as his mum. <laughs> Come on, have a drink. I'm just off to bag in a minute. I said I don't want any. I just came to tell this idiot to back off. My um oh. I mean it, Helen. You are nothing to him, so stay away. <sighs> Let's get some shots. Let's <laughs> stay on, Jeb. I think you've had enough. Oh, don't be boring. Leave me alone. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna get my hair done. I'm gonna go black. You could do it for me. You work in hairdressers. I don't do hair. I do nails. You don't do nails. Look, I don't want you going anywhere near him again. Apart from anything else, it's Guru Max as if he knew who you were. David's his dad and he's a good dad. I could be a good dad. I've got a nice car, I make plenty of dosh. Dealing drugs. You got me into drugs when we were just kids. Like you wouldn't have touched me if you hadn't met me. You're a user, Kylie, in both senses of the word. Max has got a family, and I've got a family, and a job, and a nice house, and I don't want to lose any of that, so please, just back off. Oh, you're sexy when you're angry. You come near Max or me again outside this pub, and I swear you'll never see me again. I only went to see him because I was curious. Don't panic, I'm not going to start asking to have him weekends. <laughs> Especially not weekends. Are you dead right, you won't. Mm. Have a drink, take a chill pill. I've actually got some. I'll have a bottle of lager. <laughs> have two bottles of lager, please, Dave. Gemma! Gemma, wake up! Is she breathing? Yeah. Oh, I told her to go easy. Oh, yeah, you've been a responsible drug dealer. She's only about ten vodkas. Who do you think you are? Look at her! We need to get her to a hospital. Yeah? I'll call her a cab. No, we'll call her an ambulance. Oh, we don't want flashing blue lights around here. Be quicker to go in my car. You could just as much to lose my cops if you're on as me. She could die! All the more reason to get her to a hospital. Yeah, John O'Money, get her up. You are a mental lady who doesn't give a toss about anyone but yourself. Get back to your hobby and your boring, pathetic little wife. Can somebody help me, please? I can't keep her up. All right, let's get her into this chair. Right, come on, put your foot there. What's her name? <laughs> Gemma. All right, what's happened here then? She, uh, she collapsed in the pub. She's in a bad way. You need to tell me exactly what you know. I think she might have been taking drugs as well. Do you know what kind? No. Take her to Bay 4, Caroline. And Paige Dr. Newall. Excuse me. Is there any news on Gemma Winter? And you are a friend? Yeah, she's doing okay. We'll be keeping her in for another 24 hours to monitor her heart, given the potential side effects the drugs can have. Can I see her? Chip. It says you're going to be all right. When we get you out of here, we're going to get you straight, do you hear? You can't carry on living like this. It's mad. I'm 
really sorry, Jim. I've got to get back to my family. I'll come and see you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. You know, I don't care what Carly says. I think you're a very caring friend and neighbour. Steady on. I've only brought you some milk. Yeah, I know. You know, I thought we had loads, but it's all gone sour. And I'd nip out to Deb's just... Can't leave the kids alone. Carly's with a client, you see. Is she all right? I think so. She was weird at school, you know. I thought it was me at first, but we both walked back together trying to be normal and... Well, nothing's normal when it comes to Carly. <laughs> I do think she's up to something. Why? What do you mean? It's probably her now. It's all right, I'll get off. All right, thanks. See you later. Hiya. Um, I got, I got held up. I'm on my way now, yeah? Good. I'll see you soon. Yeah. I... <laughs> Sorry I'm late. This client, Gemma, she changed her mind about the colour halfway through. I had to take it off and start all over again. Kids all right? I'd heard a pee part of them. Oh, really? You know, I think you should stop all this mobile nail thing. It's taking up too much of your time. Money's good. Yeah, well, money's not everything. I could have painted this whole entire house in the time it's taken you to paint one person's nails. Well, three, actually. The mum wanted them doing first, and then both daughters. I mean, people give you the life stories. It's hard to get I away stop. I want to know everything. Where they live, what you do. Go on, start from the beginning. What were the daughters called? <laughs> Nicola and Grace. And the mum? You're such a bad liar. You haven't been working at all. None of your mobile clients exist, do they? It's all lies. I'm not stupid, Kylie. I know where you've been. Why, you followed me? I don't have to follow you. I know you. The way you've been acting. It's the same as Christmas. You've been going out drinking. That's why you've been standing up these clients. I'm so sorry. Tonight is the last time. I mean it, David. I don't want to lose you. No, 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 wait! Oh, is that for me? No, 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 no. No, it's for me. You see, you see, you've come to the wrong house. It's number three you should have been looking for. So it's number eight. This is number eight. It looks like an eight, but actually it's a three. You see, I'm expecting a delivery. That, that parcel has got to be mine. Well, I'm expecting a delivery and all. No, you're just trying to be difficult. Shove off you. I'm expecting a pair of flippers. Oh, well, she's making it up. Have you ever heard of anything so ridiculous? I'll just deliver them. They're for Max. He oh. wants to be a frogman. A frogman? He's barely a tadpole. Check the name. What's the name? Mrs. Carly Platt. Ah, see. No, 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 that can't be right. Let me see. Hey, get your hands off me flippers, you. Well, this parcel's got to be mine. I mean... It's addressed to me. Uh, it's from swimfishyswim.co.uk. Now, let go. Do what before I give you a smack. Well, there's, there's no need for that sort of behaviour, is there? I mean, it's just... Well, it was an honest mistake. Yeah, well, shift before I make a mistake. Yeah, it's me. To wink last night. Join the club. Lily had us up five times. I keep going over and over it in my head. There he is, standing in front of me. My own flesh and blood, my son. A man I haven't seen for 25 years. He looks at me. I look at him. I open my mouth to speak and... 
The words just won't come out. Well, I'll be there with you. Can I give you a bit of advice? Yeah, of course you can. Max! Maybe Where don't start with the whole heart condition thing. I mean, hi, son. Nice to meet you. Sorry I haven't been here for Christmases and birthdays, but you might want to get yourself checked out. You might have inherited a rare genetic heart condition. Do I look like an idiot? Well, I'm only trying well. I want to get to know him first. You know, give him the chance to get to know me. Yeah, well, you best try and get over the whole not being able to speak thing straight away. <sighs> I don't think I've felt so nervous in my whole life. What do you think, Kylie? About what? About Michael meeting his son. Sorry, I don't have an opinion. Yeah, I'm but... too I... busy. I'll get Lily. I've never been too busy to have an opinion. Be glamorous enough. Glamorous enough for what? Well, I'm going to a party tonight and I don't want to let anybody down. Listen, when I've finished with you, you'll be the belle of the ball, all right? Oh, God, that sounds good. Oh, oh and uh, can you put me in for a manicure? Uh, yeah. Uh, Kylie! Mary wants her nails doing. Hello, Audrey's. How can I help? I was thinking of having my nails done. May as well go the whole hog while I'm here. Lovely. Uh, yeah. It's for you. Oh. Hello? Yeah, I know, but I'm busy now. Where? Mum, have you got nothing better to do? I'm worried about Michael meeting his son. Well, go worry somewhere else. I didn't come to see you. I came to see my mum. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got to go. What? Go where? It's a job. I forgot all about it. What, a bloke wants his nails doing now? No, it's for his mum. She's been in hospital, had an operation. Right, well, you should have wrote it in the book. What am I like? Sorry. Oh, well, never mind. So... Any other good ideas for a woman who's in the mood for a makeover? I'm sure we'll think of something. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Don't phone me at work. You called me first. So call my mobile. Sorry. So? What can I do for? Just want some speed, that's all. <laughs> so you didn't want to see me? <sighs> Please. I'm having a mad day. Mm, I don't know. You keep blowing hot and cold on me. I thought you didn't want to see me again. I've got money. And then it's like you expect me to do house calls. What's going on with you? Like I said, I'm having a mad day. You've got no idea what my life's like. I just need a bit of help. Once I'm through this, then things can all just go back to normal. Hmm. Normal used to be me and you. Me and you were never normal. And yet, here you are. Please, take the money and give me what I want. Can't do it. Why do we always have to do this? Take money off the mother of my child? <laughs> what sort of a man do you think I am? Whatever you need, you come to me. I will always help you out. Will you stop calling and stop texting and all? We well, know you're wrong, Callum, because I don't need note from you. I'm not an addict. I've quit now. Leave me alone. Morning, you alright? Does nobody clean up down here or what? Want to make Max's dinner, dinner? And that cereal bowl's yours anyway. Sorry, Lily kept me awake. Yeah, well, if you're thinking of swerving the Christmas party tonight, then think again, because I've just had my gran on the phone. David love you we open up the salon for me. I'm nipping to the shops to get some Christmas hats. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be clear, Rupa. Call it a try. Oh, do you know, I shall call it trespass in a minute. You're not coming to our Christmas meal. No, he's persistent, I'll give him that. Oh, I love Christmas parties, and I was going to ask you out tonight anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it's not because your Christmas do is going to be absolute rubbish, is it? Uh, you, Tyrone, and <laughs> Kevin arguing how to fix a gear chain thingy once. <laughs> <laughs> I've got had any appointments going for this after, have I? Uh, no, love, no. Will you tell David my phone's packed up? Where are you going? Will not be long. David will be back with the sandwiches soon, Kyle. Oh. 
Right, how do you pick all this stuff up? Oh, <laughs> Luke, lovey, you do not gate crash a do on the basis of shimmying round my salon with a long handled brush. Now get off with you. We've got work to do. Come on. Got it. <laughs> he likes to laugh, that's all. Cheers. But I told Audrey to tell you. Yeah, she said you'd snuck off. But I need a new phone. Well, it sounds all right to me. Let's have it. No! Give it to you. No, I'm changing it, all right? What, and that couldn't wait? You couldn't ask for one for Christmas? Right, I'm being hassled, OK? By Macca. Hassled? How? Is he pushing drugs? Right, I'm coming with you, then. I'm not going to see him. I'm going to the shop to change my phone, my number, everything. Well, have you spoke to him? No. You have, haven't you? Have you spoke to that dealer? I'm not meeting him. Would I be taking ID and two utility bills if I was going to score drugs? But why do you say you're not spoke to him when you have? Look, go back. We've got clients. Your van's going to be asking questions. It'll be an hour, two tops. Trust me, babe. Oh, answer phone again. She must have a new phone by now. She's been gone for long enough. Did I ask your opinion, Gran? Oh, could someone please take these chocolates away from me? Maria, they're for the customers. All right, here we are. Let's get you settled. Shall I take your coat? Oh, thank you. Lovely. Well, looks like Maria's got the tea's all waiting for you, so uh, I'll get you going up, OK? No, uh, Luke, what are you doing? Hello, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Winderton. Meet and greet a very important staff position. You don't give up easily, you, do you? I must qualify for the party now. <laughs> Come on, out. Out, 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 out. Come on, Mrs. Winderson. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> David, get Mrs. Winderson a fresh cup. And... <laughs> Kylie. Where have you been? Get off, David! It doesn't take all afternoon to get a phone, you know. Wait, just this near Christmas, have you been in a town? Massive queues, hundreds of people. And I had to ask this tech guy to sort me contact. Right, well, why didn't you ring me then to tell me you were going to be late? Because I took my SIM out, nobody could contact me. Why'd you do that? To get my dealer off my back, I told you. A what? Would you rather him hassle me just in case you were ringing me to tell me you didn't believe a word I said? Look, I'm sorry. I should have put my sing back in, rang you, told you it were going to take ages. I just wanted this whole drugs thing out of my head, and every time a call came or a text... I'm sorry. I've not been near the dog and gun, I swear, look. All right, well, come on. Last client. I've got Maria washing his hair, and then it's on to the Christmas party, all right? Yeah, which out of my best behaviour, I swear. Not even a drink. <laughs> Promise. I just dumped these. Oh. Came back then. Sam was mad. There's wheelie boppers, or is it dearly boppers? Oh, there's a Santa hat. Did you get out the flashes? Yes, antlers. Did they flash? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Would you like to come over? Can get you something to drink? Oh, yeah, and there's some lovely Christmas chocolates as well. Chocolates? Got no willpower around them. <laughs> <laughs> Wheelie boppers are far more suited to the younger person. Kylie, you're fetching them chocolates or what? I can't find out that flashes. Yeah, antlers look far more dignified on the older lady. <laughs> you heard yourself, girl. Any orange creams? Yeah. Does reindeer nose go with them antlers? <laughs> oh, how does that sit on the older lady? What do you say, Paul? Oh, it's Christmas. How it goes. It's all about indulging. Isn't that right? Kylie, is it? Talking of indulging, why don't we three go to the Rovers? David can join us when he's done, right? I'm going to stop here with him. Well, I don't need both of you, no matter of hair I've got. Me and David will find stuff to talk about. You'll come with me, won't you, Maria? I'm not walking into the Rovers on my own, not in these antlers. <laughs> yeah, you get off, Maria, I'll be OK. Can uh, Kylie get you a drink, mate? Could be murder a brew. I've not had one all day. I'm getting withdrawal. <laughs> You. Didn't think I could get better looking. I'll come again. Well, you can if you're going to give me this much money. It's only eight quid you owe us. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Ten for the cup, two pound tip, and twenty to get your lads some Max, isn't it? Christmas should be all about the kiddies. All right. I say I've got a daughter and all. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'll split it between them. Cheers, it's very kind of you. How old's your daughter? Uh, Lily, she's nearly 16 months now. Too young to appreciate it. Spend it on Max. I had a coat. So, uh, where's this Christmas day you're having? 
You wouldn't know it. Well, it's just down the road, the bistro. It's my brother's place. No way. I'm there later. All right. Well, if you see us in there, flashing the cash. Don't worry, it won't be this. Max's ring first. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him it's from Santa. All right, I will. Well, you stick it with yours. I don't mind if he thinks it's from his dad. See you later, guys. See ya. You believe it? I've had a... <laughs> oh, good timing. Check out the tip. No way, did you give him a massage and all? Nah, it's just a flash gift. Said spend it on Max. Oh, I was going to say you could buy the puddings. Well, there's no rush to get to the bistro, is there? Same again. Yeah, now his new Bezzy mate's paying. Hey, no, come on, you can't use that. I'm only kidding. I still spend 20 quid on Max. Like, what's his chop said? What's he say his name was? Beer? Plus, uh, do whatever you like, no problem. Whatever I like. Well, there's an invitation. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Uh, I thought you stood us up. Couldn't get my wife out of the pub, could I? She's not even been drinking. Oh, uh, your table's over there. Oh, come on, Cal. Come on, Cal. Oh, didn't it look lovely? The glitter's yours, and I told her a couple of jabberas. No biggie. Oh. Would it be rude to suggest he buys us around, seeing as how the tip were for Maxi? Oh, Carly, go and get us a bottle of house white, love, before you sit down. Oof. Oh, suit about to happen. <laughs> hey, look, um, I really appreciate your help. And I know there's somewhere you got to be, so uh, I think they'll pay you for it. No nonsense. Just buy me a drink sometime. Look, it wasn't all your mother's fault, was it? Arguing takes two. I'll leave you my number, though, just in case you ever get short stuffed. You're sick. I've tried drinking, but it said it's unobtainable. And why do you think that might be? The usual. You want drugs? Don't want to want them. Kill my calls, then come crawling back. I don't want any. Bit of social time then. Get lost. Hmm. Let's talk later. Meet me behind the corner shop. Say, ten? You forget it. If you don't show, I'll knock on. See if Max wants his dad to read him a bedtime story. <laughs> <laughs> Good do. Mm. Did Nick say out? Was that awful woman still there? Do you just sit there practicing how many questions you can fit in in a minute? On my rings. I took them off to wash my hands. I must have left them on the side of the sink in the box. Right, we'll ring Nick. Well, what if somebody picks them up? What would the clientele there? It wouldn't surprise me at all. Did Nick tell you what that woman said to me? What woman? Don't look at me. I've been up twice tonight already. I'll be ten minutes. Carly, wait! I meant to ask your hairdresser if he does close shaves. Why did you have to do that, Callum? Turn up! I'm serious. No, wet shaves, that's what I mean. Does that make me a thrill seeker? Talking to your hairdresser while he holds a sharp blade? He is not my hairdresser, he is my husband. <laughs> And you're my drug dealer. I don't need you anymore. Oh, you better spend that 20 on Max. I'll be checking up. How? Oh, you could ring me, keep me up to speed. <laughs> no pun intended. Or if you don't, I could uh, pop round, start peering through windows at home or at work. <laughs> Why can't you just leave me alone? You don't want that. Not really. Yes, I do. You're a thrill seeker too, Kylie. You always have been. That's why we got on. Why we broke up. Why well, you were always going to come back eventually. That was a mistake. Nah, it was you coming home. That poncy salon, poncy hairdresser, poncy nan-in-law. That's not you. You've got my number and you're ready to stop kidding yourself. You want someone or something to cheer you up? Give me a ring. Can't offer to trim your split ends, but I'll give you a free wrap. You'll be back, we both know it, don't we? <laughs> to town. Oh, a bit of last minute shopping. Oh, she's piling on the pressure. Apparently we're gonna have the perfect Christmas. Shall I give her a message? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering how she was, really. Oh, yeah? Okay, I mean, she's trying really hard. What? There isn't. I mean, she's doing better than I am. What do you mean? Well, it's just the whole trust thing, really. <gasps> How are you? Hey. <laughs> How'd you get on? Yeah, good. Max is pretty much sorted. I still need a big prezzy for Lily, though. Well, she's only little, isn't she? She might have a clue. But you know how much she loves animals? Yeah, well, we're not getting her a pony. 
<laughs> be worth it just to see a girl's face. You no, know, I was thinking we could get one of them miniature farmyard things, something like that. She's not a bit young. Are you mad? She'll eat half the livestock. We'll have to go into town later and have a look. Kylie. You don't have to spend a fortune to get something good, do you? I had a Barbie on a Harley Davidson. Best present ever. Class. <laughs> Although she did have brown hair. Tried to dye it blonde, but her head melted off, so. Mm, now she feels. Promise me you'll sort it. Yes, all right, I'll sort it. I just want Lily to have loads of happy memories. To look back and know that we did our best. It's all in order, just, um... Hey, wait a minute. How much do you want for that doll's house? Oh, too late. My lad always just bought it. Oh, look, Ty, I really need it. Well, I've got two daughters, mate. I really, really need it. Have you, uh, made a promise you can't keep? Bad daddy. Look, I'll give you £10 more than what he's paying for it. <laughs> you can't do that. All right, 20 then. Oh, bidding war, loving it. Uh, any advance on 20 quid? No, no way, we've agreed a price. <laughs> Have we, though, because it's not over till I get the cash in my hand. Look, I've seen a doll's house in that charity shop on Inkerman Street. It's made of lollipop sticks, but it's better than nothing. Why don't you have it, then? Why should I? All right, 30 quid, yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll chuck in my watch. When I give you a deposit, you gave me a receipt. You sell that to anyone else, I'll be on the phone to trading standards before you can... Look, I'll be in later to collect it, right? And if it's not here, I'll report you. Yeah, all right, take a chill pill. And if I do, when they start digging, who knows what else they might find. Hey! That better not be the one from Barlow's buys. I mean it, I'm warning you. Cool your jets. From a shop in town. Going to chuck in some free furniture as it goes. Welsh dresser, table and chairs. Yeah, all right. Basket of logs, fireplace with real fire in it, tray of toffee apples, fondue set, soap dish, tray of cabbages. I'll be with you in a minute, mate. Bye, mate. Energy drink. We can do better than that. Do one. So you don't want something stronger? Looks like you need it. What are you even doing here? Getting my car serviced. What does it look like? So you choose the garage right next door to my house. Mm. I'll be back to pick it up tomorrow. We can catch up then. I've told you, stay away from me. It's not what you really want. Play hard to get, it's fine by me. Be all the sweeter when you come back to me. Can't leave Steve in the lurch. Hi, love. What can I get you? Uh, if I tell you what I really fancy, would you promise not to slap me? Oh, you're a lively one, aren't you? <laughs> There's your sister. Cute as you are, you're gonna have to do a bit better than that. Uh, flaming cheek. She's old enough to be my gran. I'll have a bottle of beer, Ta. One for yourself. Thank you very much. All right, Eva. Miss me. What are you doing here? Um, it's a pub. Eva can look first when she wants to, can't she? <laughs> Proper battle axe. A bit intense, though. I don't know what they're talking about. You're absolute scum. You make money out of people's misery. She came to me. Yeah, and now she's trying to get off the stuff. So leave her alone. <sighs> Seriously, you need to go. People like Kylie around here. To find out what you are. Tell you what, I'll risk it. Hey, who's your mate? He's gorgeous. Oh, no mate of mine. Was he arguing with you? No, no. He just looks a bit intense, that's all. Oh, no, he's an idiot. He came in here a while ago, a bit drunk and leery. Just marking his card for him, that's all. I went out with a bloke uh, a couple of years back. He worked in a pub. The fellas were always hitting on him. You know what? Did my head in. <laughs> hey, if I were ten years younger... There you go, love. Nice little boozy you got here. Well, thank you very much. Been looking for a new local. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of me around here. Right. <sighs> oh, sugar. I'm gonna kick this thing in, I am. No, 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 you're not. You need a break. I can't, I've got to finish it. How many hours have you been slaving on it? He got up at five. And these instructions are not worth a carrot. I mean, I'm sure I'm missing some of I've been saying that about you for years. <laughs> Let's count off, shall we? I've already done that. But you're 
Are you sure there's not a piece missing then? No, there ain't. Max, we need to put this somewhere. Why couldn't you just buy her a dolly? Because Santa's bringing her a dolly. Yeah, and her mum and dad wanted to get her a doll's house and the best Christmas ever. Well, that won't be hard, babe. She's only had two. But this one's definitely going to be the best. <laughs> Spot on that. Have you checked the filters? Not yet. Hi. You stopped answering your phone or what? Oh, sorry. Is that his? You know he's been sniffing about, don't you? Last night at the pub. Yeah. Made sure nobody sussed, but... I wish they'd cut the brake cables. I wish you'd smash into a wall. The world would be a better place. If he'd walk away without a scratch. Nine lives, that one. You're gonna have to work out what you're gonna do, missus. You know what's coming next, don't you? Please forget it, it's like a bear with a sore head. It's Christmas Eve, I've got customers baying for the motors, and he's stuck in the office, cursing a kid's soy. You still fiddling about that thing? Well, we've been busy. I'll finish it tonight. And don't forget, I fix things for a living. What are you doing with that staircase? What about it? We get a bit impatient, did we? Looks like we just bunged it on. I'm gonna regret that when it comes to fitting the roof. Well, it's trial and error, isn't it? Sounds like you made a few mistakes yourself. Well, if it says ring about when you're done. I'd hand it over to Open Ruby. More chance of finishing it than you. Haven't you got a queue of curly perms or something? Meanwhile, back on planet Earth. That's Subaru, MOT. Well, you're gonna have to do it. Kev, you haven't got a minute of you. I need yeah. a favour. It's a model. Bish, bash, bosh. If you don't slop together, super glue it. Screen washer, oil, new wiper blade. I wish it was all that easy. Uh, except you stay in business very long. Hi, right, pal. Um, Kev, sorry, I think I've left my phone in your office. Uh. Do you... It's Kev, is it? There's only three of us. A bit limited, aren't we? Mm. Sorry, I'd like a save. Birds? Four collie birds, three French uh, birds. Hang on. What did you just say? Collie birds. No, it's collie birds. Why aren't they pushing my lucky? Well, I couldn't get a valet, could I? Mm, it's all business. Birds. Good man. You know it's like this time of year, ferrying the old days around. Yeah. Like it nice and fresh. Oh, no problem. You pick it up, what? Not quite up to four-ish. Good man. Anybody taxi anywhere? No, I'm cool, mate. I go where the wind blows. Max, come on. Aw. Forgot to get bread. It's not. Not a hair out of place or a dab of ice in sugar anywhere. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! oh. oh. <laughs> hey, up, food fight, Kylie. Don't get that one started. So have the cupboards emptied, bread bin opened up, the raining spuds down on you before you know it. She's ruthless. Not anymore. No, no, no. You know you have to do it yourself. Oh, no. You mean you, you're trying to make out that we've got to be grown up all of a sudden? Does that mean I don't get to lick the ball? Hey, that's my job. Is he as ruthless as his mother? Ma, the ball's all yours, lad. Oh, <laughs> look at that face. It's like the little boy that Santa Claus forgot. Don't you start. My grandmother used to sing that to us every year. It used to give us in floods of tears. And he sent a note to Santa for some pipers and a No, drum. no, Gail, I mean it, don't. Right, come on then, shall we uh, hang them up on the tree? Kyla, can you bring lilies? Mm -hmm. Oh, Max, should we give this to your mum now? Oh, is it a surprise? We love surprises, don't we? <laughs> Turn it around. Oh, that's gorgeous. Where did you get it? Got on precinct, didn't we? Gonna get one every year. Oh. Marvellous. Until I'm a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> He's really ambitious, I'll give him that. Yeah. Well, we better find the best place for it then. Do you wanna do it? Put it uh, there, next to the fairy. Yeah, I just need a bit of fresh air. Well, do you want me to come with you? I think Mummy's got a Christmas tear in her. You're wasting your time. 
Hmm. Number one on my Christmas list, and there she is. No bags. Travelling light, fair enough. Hop in. Before someone sees you. Leave me and my family in peace. This is driving me insane. Stop fighting, then. Don't really care about your family. I just want you. Get it into your thick skull. It's over. And let's face it, it was over the day I got pregnant. I love David. I want David. David doesn't know you. Make it easy on yourself. Go. You can stop pretending. I'm giving you a chance here. Either you take it or somebody else is going to make you. <sighs> the police, whichever me edge you owe money to, it's all the same to me. This hard to get routine. It's getting a bit boring. <sighs> Come on, let's just go. You stupid! Oh, you are mental! You're a head case! I love a white Christmas, me. Don't you? And I've still got the receipt. <laughs> oh! It's pants. Yeah. Are you criticising my mum's cooking? No, it's trying to encourage you to do more of it. <laughs> you see, they're suitable for gas, electric and ceramic hobs. Yeah, but we, we haven't got ceramic hobs, we've got induction hobs. No, but well, well, they suit all hobs, any hobs. Oh, well, it's very thoughtful. Check inside. You see, they're lined with a special stainless steel and copper alloy. Really? Yeah, yeah, it, it conducts the heat faster. Oh, I got this for you. What is it? Open it. What is it? <gasps> oh, it's a weekend away to the seaside for me, you, you, <laughs> and you. <laughs> oh, that's something you don't normally find in a saucepan. A box of chocolates. No, really? <laughs> How did they get in there? Hey, you better check the others just in case Santa has hidden any more surprises for you. <laughs> oh, he's dead clever, that Santa, isn't he? Not only does he come down the chimney, he gets inside Gail's saucepans as well. <laughs> a bottle of perfume. <gasps> some earrings. <laughs> and some very posh looking <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Only me. Oh, she's a Happy Christmas. Christmas. Oh. oh, my goodness, look at you like you're selling your gym jams. <laughs> um, some of us have been up since six. Oh. I love Christmas. And birthday. And birthday. <laughs> <laughs> do you want both your presents now? Yes, please. Oh, do you think we're going to have a break? Oh. First, a nice cup of tea. I'm parched. Oh, yeah, me too. Stick kettle on, babe. Right, OK, more presents after that, then. Oh. What's it like? Now, come on, you two, show me what Santa Claus has bought you. Oh, my David, goodness. I, um, I found this on the side. I think it might be part of the doll's house. Yeah, it's just an extra piece, though. An extra piece? Yeah, you know, like a spare. Th that doesn't sound right. I mean, if there's a piece left over, then you can't have built it right. It could fall down. I'll tell you what, I'll help you take it apart, if you like, and we can find out where it's supposed to go. Yeah, it's not a piece of our house. I thought I was missing a bit, so I nicked it off Tyrone's. You nicked it? Yeah, all right, that's allowed. You're going to have to take it back. No, I don't. It's Christmas. Hmm, <laughs> is that for Christmas or for my birthday? Christmas. I've got the plans for your birthday. Oh, really? Mm, so don't be getting too drunk or too tired. Right, well, I won't know if I know I'm going to be busy. Yeah, you're going to be very busy. Come on, Nick's expecting us. Hey. Well, you go. I'll get the kids sorted. Uh -huh. Well, we can all go. Not if you want dinner on the table by one. <laughs> Come on, I'll be fine. Well, my mum can take the kids. No, I want to do something for you for a change. Thank you. We won't be long. Take as long as you like. <laughs> yeah, I need a nip and see Tyrone anyway. Yeah, well, let's get a wiggle on then. Four Come on. Is it four yeah. <laughs> Is it too early for a change? Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. What's this then? You little... Have you nicked this off me? No, what I did, right, I borrowed it. B 
because I thought I lost mine, but then I found it again last night, so brought it back. I've been here all morning. I should have been in Wolverhampton. I can give you a hand if you want. You think I want help off you? Hey, I'm offering to help on my birthday. Well, I don't want help on your birthday. Well, suit yourself. She was missing Christmas morning with your kids, and I won't miss that for the world. Here are they. Go on, then. Uh, do you do the back wall, and I'll work on the roof. All right. Ready, steady, go. Hey, where have you come from? Mine is new tyres, oh, on it? Oh, 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 he's off. Yeah, well, I'm well impressed. Turkey in the oven, kids playing with the toys. Thought Christmas was supposed to be stressful. Well, I did have a bit of help. You look different. Yeah, because I'm happy. You know, on summer, no, I've not even had a drink. And do you know why? Why? Because I'm in the right place. Because I've got two gorgeous kiddies and I married a gorgeous man. So Callum's history then? Yeah, too right. Nothing and nobody's going to take away what I've got. <laughs> yeah. It's a really comfy sofa. I bet you've sat here a thousand nights watching box sets and sitcoms. Look, I don't care what you think of my life. I like it. And I'm not the same person I was back then. Really? I think you're exactly the same. Just wearing different clothes. I want you back. You know me, I always get what I want. You don't want me, I'm all boring now. No. Nah. Deep down, I think you still want me. No, I want you to go now. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I know what you want. You wanted a white Christmas? What are you doing? Oh dear, husband returns. Awkward moment. What the hell's going on? It's not what you think. Actually, it's exactly what you think. <laughs> <laughs> you properly introduced us. You brought your dealer into our house. Please, will you just go? Do you want this? No. Oh, really? Why? You brought him here on Christmas Day. Getting too much for you, was it? A family Christmas? To be fair, she didn't invite me. I was passing. You know how it is, spending a little happiness, but festive cheer. Where's Max and Lily? They're fine. Lily's having a nap. Max is out playing in the garden. All oh, right, while well, you're down here, buying drugs in our house. Not buying. Oh, free samples, Warwick, for Christmas. I think it's time. Tell him who I am. Please don't. What does it mean, tell me who he is? See, we go way back, long before you came on the scene. Please don't. Let, let me talk to him. Will just someone tell me what's going on? Let's just say I'm part of the family. Right, do you know what? I don't care who you are. Just get out of my house. Well, OK. But I'd better say goodbye to Max first. No, you're not saying goodbye to anybody now. Get out. I thought you said he was a nice bloke. Please. See, it's not very nice not that a dad say goodbye to his son. Especially after he bought him a really expensive bike. <sighs> and the penny finally drops. Our secret's out. I'm Max's dad. Difficult reconnecting with my son after all this time. Is he winding me up? Why didn't you tell me? Well, he's not Max's dad. You are. He's nothing. Oh, that's a bit harsh. You shut up, you. I'm part of this family, too. You are not part of my family. Oh, I love it when you're angry. She's always better when she's angry. Shut up! I can't believe this. You're getting drugs off Max's dad. How long has this been going on? Oh, there's so much more you don't know. Like what? I give her more than a couple of grams of speed. David, no! No, stop it! <laughs> Only us. How's the turkey looking? Uh, hey, what's going on? Well, tell him, then. I could, if you like. This is Max's dad. Max's dad? Oh, and Carly's drug dealer. What? Let me guess. Mother-in-law? Fancy a Christmas kiss under the mistletoe? No, I do not. I think you'd better leave. You get out of my house. My house? Get, get out of my son's house. Yes, go on, get out. Or would you like us to call the police? Tell Max to say goodbye. You know where I am. Merry Christmas, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. I never asked him to come here. He got in. I couldn't stop him. He came for you. Uh, maybe we should uh, leave these two to talk. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, Michael. No, I'm not leaving. David, please. I can explain. He 
You've not set the table. Look, I know I messed up, but nothing's going on. I was finished with him. I'm OK now. Set the table. David. I've asked you to set the table. Will you forget about the stupid table? No, I won't, cos how can we have Christmas dinner without any knives and forks and spoons? David, you've got to sort this. Yeah, and there'll be plenty of time for that, but right now, me and the kids are going to have a nice Christmas family dinner. Now, can you set the table? David, you can't pretend nothing's happened. That's exactly what we are going to do. Have you seen my new bike? It's brilliant. Come see. You saw it, Lily. No, not you. Mum. I'll get her. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, what can I do? If he wants a family Christmas with her, then that's what we'll have to do. Look, Callum means nothing to me. Nothing to Max. Everything was going so well. Look, you are the only person that I care Mine. about. Oh, that's all. Once you don't burn yourself. Oh, come on, poppies. How about a little chipper later, eh? Oh, you like Brussels sprouts? I thought no kid liked Brussels sprouts. I like them. Well, then, you are very special. You might be the only boy in the world who likes Brussels sprouts. <laughs> are you OK? <laughs> Just need to learn around a few more hours. And then what? Come on, and then speak. nothing will ever be the same again. Oh, oh. Mum, take them back to Bistro for a bit. David, what are you going to do? You've got to think about the kids. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Oh, David. I'll be fine. Come on. Come on, you two, let's get you back to the bistro, eh? Next round's on me. Well, do you think that's wise? It's what he wants now. Don't do anything rash. I know what it's like to lose a family. Come on, look. I feel like the condemned man waiting for me punishment. I know I've had a lot of second chances. I think the kids are tired. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Do you think we've had a good day? Yeah. I think so. Good. David. Because that's the last time we have a family Christmas together. Don't say that. First my brother, now Max is dad. No, David, I never... Don't. You brought drugs into this house. You brought dealer into this house. You're not fit to be a mother of these kids. I'm going to go get these ready for bed. You, pack a bag and think about how you want to say goodbye without upsetting them. Max, come on, mate. It's bath and bed. This Christmas was way better than last year. Right, come on. Come on. Now. Because well, one of my friends is poorly and she needs looking after. What friend? You don't know her. Melanie's looking after. Well, David will be here. He'll always be here because he's your dad. You do know that, don't you? When will you be back? I don't know, baby. That, it depends. Depends on what? On lots of things. But I do love you. You and Lily. You know, I love you more than anything. And David. And David, yeah. I love you all. And I love you forever. Oh, that gravy looks lovely. Yeah, have a stir if you want. Can I? Yeah, go on. You gotta keep stirring it so you don't get the mm -hmm. yeah, I've never had a brother, mate. Me neither. Oh, I'll do that. You two go and set the table. Please, don't go. Max, I have to. Go to David. Go on. Go on. Come It's all right, OK? It's going to be fine. I'm saying goodbye to you, Mum. 
No. Max, Max, come here. Dad! Mm. Dad! Mm. Look! Real snow! Well, I'm sure she'll try her best, but her friend's not very well, is she? So... The only one who's going to the doctor should be with me. Oh! Morning! Right. Uh, You're not dressed yet, Max. What time's his appointment? Soon. So come on, eat. Yeah, come on, sweetheart. Eat up for your great granny. Come on. All oh, right, you'll eat for her, will you? Well, you've got enough on your plate, you. Did you that, my dear? I'll be fine, Gran. All right, I can cope. Mm. Got no choice, have I? Where's Linda? She's still in bed. No word from Madam. Finish. Oh. Right, good. Go and get dressed then, and if you're quick, you can watch some cartoons. Yes. I've sent her like a million texts today about this appointment, but I know for once she's not going to turn up. Well, you did throw her out, David. And what difference does that make? I mean, just because she's not sleeping here, Gran, doesn't mean she's forgotten how to find the doctors, does it? Anyway, we don't need her. So what are you going to tell Max when she doesn't turn up? I don't know. More lies, probably. All right. Where are you two off to? Anywhere exciting? We're just off to the doctors for his ADHD checkup. My mum's coming too. Kylie's coming. I doubt it, but who knows about her. Hmm. He seems to think she is. Yeah, well, I mean, she knows it's today, but whether she turns up or not is another thing. Do you want me to give her a call? It might just be your call she's ignoring. You can do what you like, really, but if you do speak to her, tell her it's for Max's sake, all right? Not mine. <laughs> Max, come on, mate, I'm going to be late. Flaming answer for Where's Mummy? I don't know, mate. You said she'll be here. No, I said she'd try to be here. I want mummy. Yeah, well, I've tried ringing her, haven't I? Mr. Platt and Max? All right, come on, that's us. I'm not going in without mummy. Max, come on. No! Max. Where's mum? Everything okay? Yeah, uh, he's just like me, you know, against the doctors. Yeah, they're not too bad, mate. In my day, you even got a lollipop if you behave. Cheers, Kev. Listen, mate. I know you're disappointed your mum's not here, yeah? But I'm sure she wants to be. Why isn't she then? Well, because she's looking after her friend. Yeah? But don't worry. She'll be home soon. I promise. Come on. 
And she's not texted you or anything. I don't know why you're surprised. I mean, you know what she's like. This is just getting weird now. Are you not worried? She's made a choice. But it's Max who breaks my heart. I mean, what am I supposed to tell him? She just carries on ignoring him right, like as this. much as I don't agree with the way she's behaved, at the end of the day, she's still my best mate. She's still your wife and she's Max and Lily's mother. And not that that's crossed her mind. David, what if something's happened to her? I can understand her not taking your calls. You've thrown her out, but why ain't she taking mine? Well, search me. At the very least, I expected a phone call slagging you off, but I ain't heard out. Like an idiot, though, I went and told Max that she'd be home soon. You know, I don't see why I have to do all the legwork. I mean, she obviously doesn't care about me or the kids. Right, that's it. As soon as I finish this shift, I'm gonna go down to that dodgy pub she's been hanging out at. Good luck with that. Uh, no, you're coming with me, thank you. If not for your sake, then for Max and Lily's. Feet always stick to the floor in this place. Uh, she's not here. We're not in much yet. Trust me, if she was here on any licensed premises, you hear her before you see her. What's the gear? Huh? I was wondering how long it takes to turn up. David! Where is she? Oh! Hmm. Tell me where my wife is, and you need to tell me now. Is he talking to me? Don't know, but he's got his knickers in the twist. Well, you know full well I'm talking to you. Now, where's Kylie? Where's my wife? I come in there for a pint of grief off an hairdresser. You just tell him where she is. Oh, I've been nothing but nice to you. I treat you Max at Christmas and I took real good care of Kylie. Come on then, this would be interesting. Come on, he's wasting our time. We'll find her another way. She don't want to see you. She was just saying this morning in bed how she wished she'd never met you. You're lying. Accept it. It's me she's always wanted. I can't believe she went right to me. Definitely don't choke on them, won't you? Cheers for keeping her warm, bro. Leave it and go home. Look, you go if you want, all right? But I'm not leaving without Kylie. What more can you do? She's abandoned the kids and she's cheating on me with that druggie. I'm not letting her get away with this. It's so gonna end badly. Oi, oi. What are you doing? Just give you enough to Callum? If I were you, I'd walk home now while we still can. What are you doing? All right, so as you're running round, does he while he makes all the dough? Can see it a mile off. She's done all nothing with time. Yeah? Well, when it all goes wrong, it'll be you who'll end up doing time for him. Do one. David. Hey, listen, listen. Why don't you make some money for yourself? 20 quid, show us where he lives, or go back to being his lapdog, picking up his crisps. I'm my own man, and anyway, you're wrong, because he's got my back and I've got his. 50, give it here. When we get to the flat. One more thing. Do you know what stuff you reckon I could use on me here, you know, because I'm thinning like? Well, we'll talk about that on the way, I'll come on. See, it's not all about muscle. Callum's flat's number six, second floor. Oi, morning. I didn't bring you here, you get me? Nice bike. I don't even know if she's here. But I told you, all right? You go if you want, you don't have to be here. I'm not gonna leave you, am I? I wonder if the people in know we've got to do, there was an ape. There is. Hang on a minute. If she is in here, don't leave she back, right? It's only gonna make things worse. Look, I just wanna come home to her kids, all right? Well, I can't even tell you how. Well, Kylie! I just wanna talk. There's nobody in. What are you doing? I'm gonna knock a bit louder. What? Did you can't wait the whole corridor! One more for luck. We're in now. Kylie? Right, she's not here. Come on, David. Let's just hang on, just hang on. Well, that's freaking me out. Oh, it's eyes. Follow your look. David. Look. Look, we're not here for them. Right, put them back. Is 
It might not be hers. Me and Mark's gone for Mother's Day. And what did he get you for Father's Day? Oh, nothing. Because you're not his dad. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go running back to your master, didn't you? Cheers for the 50 quid. I can scream really loudly, so if anything happens, this old block's gonna hear, right? Oi, get rid of her! Get off me! Don't worry, just take her outside so we can have a little chat alone. Oh, my God, you absolutely hum. Have you never heard of deodorant? If he's not out in five minutes, I'm phoning the police. I'm reporting what? Breaking and entering? She's fit, but she does Get off me, I'm not scared of you. Well, you should be. I've cut you some slack because you've been good to Max and that. If anyone else would have kicked my door in... They'd get their head kicked in. Huh. Are you listening? Kylie don't want nothing to do with you. So stop coming round here shouting your mouth off. It's not going to make a blind bit of difference. Get out. You know, she's only with you because of the drugs. She'll be back. Don't come round there again. I don't want you going home upsetting Max with your face all smashed in. Just keep away. How can I? What happened? He went to find Max's dad. Oh, you didn't. You're gonna get into trouble, you. Yeah, what well, the kids need us. I'm not just gonna give up, am I? Just stay away. I'm scared of what he'll do if you push him. Yeah, these people don't live by the same rules as us, David. Yeah, well, listen, over. No way. He's gonna pay for ripping my family apart. I know that neck of the woods. It isn't safe. And a boy like you shouldn't pick fights with their type. What do you mean, a boy like me? You know what I mean. No, I don't. Well, you're not exactly streetwise, are you? You're a hairdresser, you're sensitive, and you're frail. I'm not sensitive or frail. David, there's nothing wrong with it. Well, I can handle myself, all right? I know that you got a shock last night, and I understand that you're feeling bruised. Not bruised. And scared. Me? Scared of him? You're proud. I know. And you want to reassert yourself. But all this talk of revenge... Well, he knows where she is. You're not Rambo. You're not the SAS. You don't have to go kicking in doors and crashing through windows. She will come back. You just have to be patient. And your mother's back this afternoon. So don't go doing anything daft. So what are you dancing for? You OK? Don't look at me like that. Last night's really knocked you for six, on it? Do you think I'm frail? What? I'm sensitive and weak. Why? Do you think I'm scared of him? David, all I care about is Kylie. Yeah, and do you know who Kylie cares about? Not you. Not me or Max or Lily, just herself. A scuzzy boyfriend and grandma wizarder. No, that's not true, and you know it's not. She loves you. She loves all of you. Yeah, well, where is she then, eh? I don't know. But she'll come back. No, she won't. She won't dare. David, where are you going? David, don't do anything stupid. He popped in for two minutes this morning, but we haven't seen him since. Yeah, David does what David wants. Yes, all right, Maria, thank you. Why, what's the matter? I just think I might have upset him. Oh! Well, just by telling him not to do anything daft. Oh, come on, he's had quite a few of those lectures this morning. I mean, I said something similar, so did Michael. It, you might just as well talk to the wall. So you don't know where he is? Nope. We booked up all afternoon, and then she's got to go and pick Gail up in a bit, so the sooner he shows his face, the better. Yes, yeah, she's right. I mean, the world does not stop still for David. I just think, if I've told him not to do anything daft, and you two have told him not to do anything daft, well, then he might just, you know, do something daft. What? David, do something daft. Never. OK, so what happens now? You'll send someone round? OK. I'll be here then. Waiting. Hiya. Thanks for coming. Can I get you a drink or anything? No, no, no. Don't trouble yourself. I've just had one. All right, um, John, I'll take a seat. So, I believe you have some information relating to your wife, Anna Callum Logan? Yeah. What is it you'd like to tell us? 
Uh, well, it's kind of complicated. Start at the beginning. Right, well, um... Take your time, son. Sorry. David! Oh, my word. Is it Kyla? No, Grant, it's nothing, all right? You just wait outside. Why? What? Look, it's all right. I can handle it. Just wait outside. <sighs> A drug dealer. I mean, you probably know of him, or your mates will. But he deals out of a pub called The Dog and Gun. And I went up there to see if he knew where Kylie was. But he just threatened me. Physically? Look, I've got two kids, so they just miss her. And where do you think your wife is, David? Well, a few weeks back, I caught her doing some speed. And she was getting it off him. I'm, I'm just scared. You know, I just want her to come back home. What else do you know about Callum Logan? Are there any other names you can mention in connection with him? Are they still talking? Yeah. Gran? Oh, hi, sweetheart. What's going on? It's David. He's in there with the police. The police? What for? Looking for revenge. And what's this if it's not revenge? How do you think he's going to react when they knock on his door? He'll know it's come from you. Well, I don't care. Good. Look, it's better the police look for her than he does. Well, what about Kylie? What if she gets into trouble? Well, could she be in any more trouble? I know that, Nick of the Woods. You shouldn't go picking fights. Oh, with Michael, him. you keep saying that. Come on, what's the time? I've got to get your mother. I don't even know what terminal she's flying into. I think it's Terminal 3. Shall I go? No, I'll go. No, I'll get her. I've got it all written down somewhere. Right, well, I've got to go to work, so... Hey. Just keep an eye on him, right? Shall I get Max from school? Look, yeah, I'll treat you to a coffee. Maybe something stiff. Fly me, can I come? I'll take his bike. He can cycle on. Yeah, thanks. Come on, everybody out. Go on. Again. Crazy, unpredictable women. Is there any other time? What are we searching for? Our mum? No. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, well, I did not want to marry my mother. I just didn't realise Kelly was so wild, did I? Mm, she was in a cage when you met her? I mean, what more proof do you need? Y yeah, well, being in a cage is the opposite to being wild, isn't it? Mm, in a nightclub in Tenerife. <laughs> oh, there you are. David, I've got six people waiting. Grand's gone to the airport and you're sat here stuffing your face with cake. Yeah, and Maria, please. Did you not think to look in the diary? Maybe make a few calls, let people know. The Renshaw twins are sat there waiting for you. They've done five word searches between them. Okay. What, what are you doing? Sorry, really sorry. Tell them he's very sorry, but they're going to have to book another day. No, why should I have to tell him, Nick? Come on, David, you tell him. Get off. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, he was nice. My day. I used to ride every Sunday down to Buxton or Chapel on Lefrith. I'd have a cream tea and then I'd ride back home to Swinton. Sometimes. I'd put a dark ale in me flask as a treat. Can I stay out here for a bit? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Just uh, be careful of the road, eh? I'll watch. Oh. Uh. Where is it? Oh. Hello, love. Where are you? Did your mother get there on time? Only she was worried she'd be late. Oh, good. So, how was the trip? Hello, Max. How's the bike? Fantastic. Thought you might like it. Fancy going on Red Wet with it? What? Now? You can ride really fast up there. No one will get in your way. David said I'm not allowed to go with strangers. David said it'd be OK. Really? Yeah. Just for half an hour. Come on, mate. I'll have you back for your tea. Why did you leave him on his own anyway? But the phone rang. It was your mum saying they were leaving the airport. All right, so you thought you'd stop and have a nice long chat about her holiday? Well, I, I couldn't have been gone more than a minute. Yeah, well, it's still long enough for him to go missing, isn't it? OK, let's all just calm down, shall we? He's probably uh, in the Ginorta by the calf. No, no, I had a quick scout around. I couldn't see him anywhere. Uh, Luke, have you seen Max? No. Why? 
Right, you check Vidit Street. I'll do Rosmond and Victoria. You stay here in case he comes back. How long ago did this happen? Not five minutes ago. OK, well, he can't have got far. Uh, Luke, will you give us a shout if you see him, yeah? Yeah. OK, go on. Did he lock? No. What exactly were you doing? I told you. OK, there's no point arguing about it. We've got to work out what to do next. How exactly did you leave it with him? I told him that he could ride round for a bit before he came in. Okay. So that's what he must be doing. Did you tell him he has to stay on this street? I didn't tell him exactly where he had to be. I'm back. Oh, oof. take her away from me, Michael, please. She's done nothing but bore me about this blooming holiday. There's something wrong. Max is missing. Mm. Better than them cobbles, isn't it? Yeah. You do wheelies yet? Not really. They've even not shown you. You've had this bike nearly two weeks. What? I'll teach you next time. How do you know my mum? We're uh, old friends. Do you know when she's coming back? She's not home. She left on Christmas Day to look after her poorly friend. <laughs> Do you miss her? I reckon she'll be back soon, mate. Go on, show me your moves. Yeah, he's wearing his school uniform, so it's a red jumper, a white shirt and grey pants. Eight, Coronation Street. OK, thank you. Bye. I'm going to pass out all of his details and then send someone round. Oh, I'll tell everyone to keep an eye out. All right, thanks, Kevin. I'm sure they'll turn up, mate. They usually do. He's right, you know, it's only been 20 minutes. I'll tell you where he might be. When I picked him up, he asked if he could cycle around the school playground. I said, no, maybe he's gone back there. OK, right, uh, why don't you go and check, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll chiver your mum up. She's just putting some warmer clothes on. Yeah, I'll stay in and wait for the police, so in case he comes home. Do you think I've done the right thing? Bringing the police, I mean. And why not? Where's that Callum's going? I was just thinking that. It's just a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Just after I dob him in, he goes missing. Well, you were warned. But then again, if he has been arrested, how can it be him? Unless Kylie did it. Yeah, it's not like Max to go from a stranger. But why don't we go to Callum's place, yeah? But she'd rink me. I mean, if she did take him, I mean, she wouldn't let me go through this. Are you absolutely sure about that? It's going to be getting dark soon. OK, let's have a, another look round the streets before the police get here. Can we go home now? I've only just got here. Yeah, but it's going to get dark soon. You're not scared of that, are you? No. What's your problem, then? They'll be wondering where I am. Who will? David. What's so special about him? He's like my dad. You have to stand on your own two feet in this world. You can't rely on anyone. You said you'll get me back by tea. Do you want to be big and strong? Yeah. That's why I'm here, son. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Hello? It's police. No, he's still not turned up. I thought you were sending somebody around. I'll never forgive myself if anything happens. Oh, he's here. Oh, thank heavens. Come here. He got me a burger. Let's get you inside. See you, Max. Bye. Sorry. Um, actually, he's, he's just turned up. Look, tell the police to come anyway, David. I wouldn't. No, we'll be fine. Thank you. you no, thank I you. Will. Bye. Oh. Do you know, I don't know what you think you're playing at. Just be careful, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, smart move. I didn't do it for you. We've got a lot to talk about. That booze at the end of the street. I reckon I can fit you in later on. Do you know what? We could get you arrested. Half seven, on your own. You don't have to do this. Yeah, I do. Like, um, you have no idea what you're messing with. What am I supposed to do? Just sit back and watch you tear my family apart? Your family? This is my son you can't even look after. Any psycho could have walked off with him this afternoon. A psycho did walk off with him this afternoon. Today was a warning. You crossed me again. You know, I'm sorry, your stash ended up going down the toilet. 
You think I would have kept it out the other day? I know Carly's staying with you. But where is she then? No idea. Yeah, right. I've not seen her in over a week, and that's the truth. I've not seen Carly. How come I found one of her earrings in your flat? <laughs> wow. I never said I hadn't seen her. We spent Christmas night together. She stayed boxing day and the day after. Ali got a wink of sleep. Don't know where she finds the energy. Then I woke up and she was gone. No, no. She hadn't heard from her since. No. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. You pull another stun like that again, and she won't be the only person around here gone missing. I'm gonna find her. If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna get her clean, and I'm gonna bring her home. Not if I find her first. I call me. I'm just gonna keep ringing you until you do. All right, I know you're hearing this. I just think of Max and Lily. They need you. All right, Cocker. Was that Mummy? When's she coming home? Oh, you know, soon. But you just said... Yeah, well, you know what we're like. We're right pair of Mickey takers. Now, go and get your bag. All right, we're gonna be late. What's all this? I'm just wondering if it might be time to tell him the truth. What's the truth exactly? That Kylie might not come home. I'm just trying to face... Look, she will be coming home, all right? I'll find her and I'll make sure. I think all your mum is saying... But when is any of this your business? All right, come on, mate. Showtime. See ya. Bye, love. You just feel so impotent, don't you? I wish there was something we could do. Right, I'll see you again, Linda. See ya. OK, so that's one cottage pie and chips. Yeah, I'm breaking my diet. <coughs> I'm not really on a diet. <laughs> and one lasagna. Just like a mum I used to make. <laughs> if you take a seat, we'll bring it off. Yeah, perfect. Do you know, if I wore a hat, I'd take it off to him. Uh, who? Roy. For giving Gary a chance after everything that's happened. A bit like you do with me. Ah. Uh, I don't like to brag, but... Oh, hello. So who is the idiot who's posted these up everywhere? Was it the Gail idiot or the Michael idiot? It, it was me, I did it. Yeah, with my blessing, and don't be so aggressive. Are you completely stupid? I just felt so powerless. Well, what if Max saw them? Oh, right. Oh, right. I mean, don't you think the poor lad's confused enough? Michael was just trying to do some good in a very bad situation. Look, I, I'm not listening, Gail, all right? And you, village idiot, get yourself out there and get them all taken down. Now. David! Got them all down. I suppose David has a point. Last thing we want to do is confuse or upset Max. I should have thought of that. Well, sometimes we're just blinkered by our own goodness. The deed is done, David. All of them? I didn't think, and... I was just saying, sometimes we're just blinkered by our own goodness. Did you actually just really say that? Kylie, it's me. Listen, something terrible's happened. It's me mum. She's dead. She got mugged in town. I had to go identify the body and... Oh, she looked awful. Horrific. I actually just threw up looking at her. So if you could help me, please. And that is how you get somebody to come home. Had before? For a log. Look, I don't usually trust my hair to anyone, but Clark it now is in town. But she's gone to the States for a fortnight and... Steph, look, look. I haven't stayed in business this long without knowing how to do every kind of hair. I know, but... David and Maria have both taken courses on doing black hair. Yeah, we have, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, put me in for tomorrow. Oh, right. Now, half nine, ten? Yeah. 
That sounds perfect, yeah. Right. And relax. Come on, we know what we're doing. <laughs> How's things going with Gavin, Steph? Um, yeah, yeah, fine. Oh, excuse me, minutes. Yeah, I'd best. Yeah, bye, love. Hello, Audrey. Oh, yes, here's Angela. Yeah, hold on. It's for you. Hello? Right. OK, uh, where is she? Right, OK, I'll... I'll be half an hour. Thanks. Bye. She's in Rochdale. Kyla? She's been shoplifted. <gasps> right, I'm coming with you. You know where the manager is? He phoned me earlier. Yeah, just over there. Thank you. Thank you. David? Yeah. Uh, Graham. Uh, I'm the manager here. Hi. Do you uh, want to follow me? Yeah. Your wife goes a bit of a scene. Uh, sorry, she's got a bit of a temper on her. <laughs> Just a bit. She must be a handful. So, uh, what happened? Well, I was all set to call the police, but some photos of a little boy and a baby girl fell out of a bag. I mean, you're their dad? Yeah, 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 I mean. And there were business cards for a salon, so I thought, well, she's got uh, kids, a job, there must be more to this than meets the eye. What is it you caught her with? Um, that's another thing. An item from the feminine care section. Right, well, does she know I'm coming? Well, I gave her a choice. I said either I call your husband to pick you up or the police. Whatever happened is try not to kick off. Oh, David, I'm so sorry. Please take me on. Just play along, yeah, we'll explain outside. Get off! Oh. Who's she? That's not my wife. Have you got Carly's bag? Where is she? You could have helped us out. Who is she? Is she a friend? Oh, you must be joking. She's just a thieving little snake in the grass. Uh, no, watch your mouth, you. You've nicked Carly's bag? I never, I just lent it. Borrowed. Whatever. I'm calling the police. Could you just do us a favour and give this guy the money I owe him? If we settle up, then we're straight, yeah? All right, tell me why you've got this. She didn't nick it. She left it at mine. Where is she now? Look, see these kids? They miss her, all right? They need the mum. Look at him. He's eight years old. Every time I put him down to bed, he's asking when she's coming home. He thinks she doesn't love him anymore. And she did stay at mine. She fell out with Callum just after Christmas. Right, look, just tell me where she is, all right? She won't know it came from you. I haven't got a scuba. See ya. All right, I nicked the last bit of gear. And then I had a bag so she'd think that she'd lost it. And? And she kicked off. I wouldn't tell her where her bag were. So we had a blazing mouth and then she left. I haven't seen her since. No, come on. Oh, you thought you was going to lend us some money? Cheers, pal. She's all yours. Oh! Where are we going? If she's run out of gear, there's only one place she'll be. Callum. Hi. Now, I've come to speak about David. <sighs> Apparently, I'm dead to him. He's been trying to get Carly to call him back. By telling her I died. Oh. A mugger pushed me over and I hit my head on the curb. Well, at least it was quick. <laughs> it's tempting fate. They've been gone a long time. I wonder if she's been carted off to the police station. Here, don't leave valuables lying about. Oh, no. Don't get on her back as soon as she gets through the door. <laughs> Don't tell me. She's been locked up. I knew it. It wasn't even her. Well, who was it then? Just some so-called mate. She had a bag on her. Does she know where Kylie is? Nah, she's a waste of time. Where's Max? Upstairs doing his sticker album. Lily went down about an hour ago. You didn't tell him that I found her, did you? No. Great. So I'm back to square one. She could be anywhere. Have you looked in here? There might be something that will at least give you a clue. Yeah. Can you find anything, Michael? Oh. What is it? It's for Max and Lily. Dear Max and Lily, I'm sorry I had to leave you. I want you to know this doesn't mean I don't love you. I love you so much it hurts. It kills me not to see you every day, but I know it'll be better for you without me there. I know you're upset, but you'll soon realise that David is an amazing dad and he'll look after you properly. 
Max, I want you to be a good boy and look after Lily for me because she's going to need her big brother. You'll have to be brave and hopefully one day I'll see you again. But only if I know I'm not going to mess up your lives. Love you always, Mum. Oh, love it. But I want her to come home. Yeah, so do I, mate. So... A bit. It's funny, that, because when school phoned me up, they told me you said you had stomach ache. Listen, mate. I know things are a bit weird, yeah, with your mum not being here, but I can't afford to book time off work if I have to come and look after you if you're feeling a bit ill. I am ill. Right, all right, calm down. Come on. Is that OK? Well, no, no, not really. I mean, this one's saying he's not feeling very well, but to book an afternoon off work so I can come to the school and look after him. I think he might be playing up. Well, maybe. No, I don't know what's going through his head in the minute. Yeah, I think I might. Look, there's not actually anything wrong with him. I don't mind having him for a bit. I've got Joseph anyway. Nah, I don't want to do that. I don't feel right leaving him. Why don't you ask him? What well, about that, Paul? You fancy knocking about with Joseph and Katie for a bit? Yeah, and then maybe we can go to the cafe later and get an ice cream. Wicked! <laughs> right, cheers. <laughs> Ta, thanks. Yeah. I owe you a pint. Oh, well, I'm more of a white wine kind of girl. Thanks, anyway. I'll come and drop him off at yours later, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, and be a good boy for Katie, all right? I'll be watching. <laughs> right, see you. Go on, then. Here and I'll get us some drinks, yeah? Hiya. Hiya. Hey, you do realise you picked the next one up on your travels, don't you? I know, I'm just looking after him for a bit for David. All right, how come? Oh, long story. All right, so what do you want anyway? Right, can I have a, a Coke for me, please? Yeah. A warm milk for Joseph and a chocolate ice cream for Ma Max? Max? Where's he? It's a fast car. Um, excuse me. Can I help you? Well, that's the best offer I've had all day. Max, come here now. It's all right. I know him. It's true. Me and Max go way back, don't we? I'm uh, an old friend of Kylie's. Sorry, I just I've never seen you before. So... Never seen you. I think I'd remember if I had. Right, anyway, come on, Max. We need to go. Nice to meet you, uh... Katie. Callum. See you later, big man. Bye. For a total lifesaver, thank you. Oh, you're joking. It was loads easy for Joseph to have someone to play with, even though I'm not too sure Max was keen on having a little adjacent hand <laughs> all day. But you had a little shadow you couldn't shake off. No, I bet you loved it, didn't you? Can I go again? You have to wait until you're <laughs> invited. You can't just ask. No, it's fine, any time. So go on then. What did you get up to? No, wait, don't tell me. Is it football? Yeah, then we had an ice cream and saw Mummy's friend. M Mum's friend? Who's that? Oh, it's Callum, weren't it, Max? What, and you let him play with Max? No, he's just on the street. Are you stupid? Oi, don't talk to me like that. Max knew him, he said he was his mate and he seemed OK. No, I, I, I'm sorry, thanks for looking after him. It's just, it's complicated, that's all. Right, all right, night, see you later. Sorry, Katie, thanks. Eating your rice krispies. I'm not hungry. I get into trouble if I don't eat mine. Yes, so come on, set a good example. I read that if you're fit and healthy, you recover faster from an operation. I thought maybe I should lose a few pounds. But your operation's on Friday. I don't think one bowl of cereal is going to make much difference. It's a start. We don't want you going weak from lack of nourishment. You won't win. Exactly. So eat up. They've gone all soggy now. And whose fault's that? Right, come on, Max. We'll clean your teeth. Already done, then. It was worth a try. Listen, um, Callum showed up yesterday at Max were wicked. Here. Really? Yeah. What does he want? Well, I hope it's just to wind me up, because if it is, then it's working, but I'm going to make sure he has nothing to do with Max. I'm seeing a solicitor at nine. David, solicitors cost money. Yeah, I know, but what do you expect me to do? Just sit here and do no? 
Hey, ha. I'm looking for volunteers. Big opening of the beast show. I'm going to need all the help I can get. What? Callum's back on the scene. David's going to see a solicitor. I thought you went to citizen's advice. Yeah, I did. But now I need to speak to someone who's going to tell me how I can keep that waste of space away from my son. We've been planning this for ages. Why is everything left for the last minute? Yeah, well, I'm here now. We've got a Maria managing the salon, so... Did you see the solicitor? Yeah, I did, actually. And she says that if push came to shove, then I should have a really strong case. I mean, I know Callum's got legal rights, but I've got history on my side, you know? I've established a relationship with Max, and I've got good family support. So, looks like Gail could be my trump card in all this. Hello? Oh, look, I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, sorry, I just come to see David. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry about kicking off yesterday. Yeah, I was just making sure everything was all right. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Thanks. You're busy. Uh, yeah, well, it's barely organised chaos. We open in seven hours? Yeah, I'd leave now, actually, before it rubs you into helping out. I mean, I'm going to be stuck here all day. <laughs> well, I've got to go to college anyway, but I can pick Max up if you want after school and get him some tea. Nah, you're all right. It's fine, thanks. Are you sure? I was only trying to help. Yeah, but look, it would help me. All right, can you bring him straight back here? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you can trust me, you know. All right, cheers. Good. Now that's sorted, can we get on? Yeah, yeah. I'll leave you to it. All right, All right. see you. Right. Thanks. Right. We've got to go and move 48 chairs. All right, lead the way. Nick, chairs. Even if Carly never comes back. That's the way I look at it, anyway. Any court's going to recognise that. This Callum's never shown any interest in Max, anyway. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he has legal rights, but I've got a relationship with Max. I just have to keep him as far away from Callum as I can. Stay here. Why not? It's a public place. You know why. Oh, pretend I'm not here if you're worried. Hey, Max, fancy a milkshake? Yeah. Uh, no, no, you're not doing that. Chocolate or strawberry? Chocolate. Tell you what, me and Max will have a milkshake and that's it. I mean, you can't stop a man having his afternoon milkshake. It's his basic human right. I just don't know what's that, David. Me neither. Me and David are cool. Look, we're all cool, aren't we, Max? Yeah. Who's uh, the hunk we're catering? I don't know. Not seen him round here before, because I'd know if I had. Uh, afternoon, ladies. Hi. Can I order some drinks, please? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, just two chocolate milkshakes. Do you want straws? Of course you want straws. Don't want to get a milkshake moustache, do you? Oh, I don't know. Do you think I could pull it off? Oh, oh, I reckon you could pull anything off. Did I just say <laughs> that out loud? Yeah, you did. Uh, take a seat and I'll bring them over for you. What the hell do you think you're doing? Me and Max are just having a chat, sharing a couple of milkshakes. Look, I told you about him. No, you didn't tell me anything. I don't know what your problem is. Seems like a nice bloke to me. He is a nice bloke. He paid for the milkshakes. Right, Max, come on, we're going. At least let him finish his drink. I know what your game is. My game? Footy's my game. Maybe me and you and Max could have a kickabout sometime. Do you fancy that? Yeah. Right, Max, I'm serious. Get your coat in your bag, come on. I haven't finished. Best do as your dad says. See you later, Max. Take care, mate. Come on. David, David. David. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and sort this out. Do you fancy sharing a milkshake? Stay away from Max. Max? What makes you think I'm interested in Max? I'm more interested in Katie. Just keep away from him, will ya? You know what? It might be your name on the birth certificate, but David's his real dad. And he always will be. Well, that's me told. Hurting my hand. Right, sorry. Are you in trouble? No. It's not you that I'm annoyed at. Is that you, David? Yeah. Right, Max, if you go and get your uniform off, I'll be up in a minute, all right? See you later, Max. Right, go on. I want an explanation. It better be good. He just came in the cafe. There's nothing I could do. Right, if he walks in, yeah, you walk out. What is your problem with him? It's my son, my rules. Oh, well, I'm just saying, he seems nice. Yeah, well, I told you I don't want him anywhere near Max, and you just completely ignored me. I would never put Max in danger. Trust me, if Callum's around, yeah, then Max is in danger. If it's a boyfriend you're after, Katie, then you don't want to be messing about with that low life. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just picking Joseph up. But what is the deal between you two? Why do you hate him so much? Look, 
put it this way, he's no Chesney. In fact, of all your exes, right, he's, he's probably most like Ryan. Why are you bringing up Ryan? Let's just say him and Callum have the same lifestyle choices. Is he a DJ? No, he's a drug dealer. All right, he was Kylie's drug dealer. Are you sure? Oh, my God, he was like... Yeah, he's good at it. And he's got the patter, drives a nice car. I'm sure he'd splash the cash about if he did go out with him. Yeah, well, he was dead nice to Max. Yeah, well, it's where he gets the cash from that's the problem, isn't it? I mean, if you are with him, there's no telling when the drug squad are going to kick the door down. But hey, I mean, it's your life if you want to mess it up. I need to see you, Max. Well, I... Fancy a drink? I can't, I'm busy. Hold on. I can't have gone off me that quick. I thought we really hit it off. You're a cocky swine, you, aren't you? Ten minutes of Max's house and I don't want to know me. It's funny, that. Just leave me alone. Whatever he says, I'd take with a pinch of salt. You'd prefer a pinch of something else, wouldn't you? Can we go for a drink so we can talk? I said no. Callum, I can come over now. Been near my car? No. It's been keyed. Yeah, well, I haven't keyed it. Now you do me a favour and just get out. Oh, no wonder Kylie legged it. You'd do anyone's head in. Wish you'd leg it rather than hang around like a bad smell. I've caught you a lot of slack. You broke into my home, did I call the cops? You are, thank me, not spread lies about my livelihood, blown my chances with that Katie. I couldn't care less about you and Katie. I just don't want you seeing Max. You're in no position to call the shots. He's my son. Is he? Yeah. I decide who he sees. You want to play mind games? I'll win. Every time. Hiya. Just talking about you, son. David, my wheels just came off my car. Let me have a look. Oh, I'm good with cars, me. Have you got a Phillips screwdriver, lad? Ah, yes, it's working. You want to be a racing driver when you grow up? Like Lewis Hamilton. My car's faster than any Formula One. I like bikes best. Mm. Will you take me out on my BMX again? Any time. All right, come on, pal. Ooh, gonna be late for school at this rate. Night. Bye. I'll be up in a minute. Okay. Yeah, see yourself out. I told you to leave. I was enjoying a bit of father and son bonding. If I do get with that Katie, it'll be handy if I want to swing by more often. We can get with who you want, but I don't want you anywhere near me or my kids. Max is my son. You know that just as much as I do. Yeah, well, he doesn't know. And he never will. He don't call you dad. Why not? That's because... You're not. Anyway, you should be grateful I'm taking an interest. I don't want you anywhere near him. Look, even if you are his biological dad, right, doesn't mean anything. He lives here with me and his sister. We're a family. It's dysfunctional. Hmm. No, Mum. Well, this is his home. All right, I'm his dad. Not according to the best certificate. Which I think stands heavily in my favour. If we're to go to court. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The courts won't let you have him. I mean, you haven't been on the scene for years. Sadly. You know, we've got a lot of catching up to do. We got like a house on fire, it's as if he knows. Well, then there's the small matter of what you do for a living. You'd be laughed out of court, or had up in it even. I come from a very respectable family. Yeah, I'm sure you do. My mum's a school teacher. <laughs> this is insane, you're just making it up. It's true, I can prove it. You know, I bet you don't even want Max. I mean, he's just a pawn, isn't it? Fine. You'll be hearing from my solicitor. You alright? My wife's left me and the drug dealer's gonna break up what's left of my family, so I think I'll give the cartwheels a miss. Well, they're not gonna take Max away, are they? Well, he's on the birth certificate. He can pretty much do what he wants, although why he's doing it now, I don't know. 
Yeah, I might have said something about that, actually. What? Why? I know, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. You know what? He can apply for what he wants. At the end of the day, he's an ex-con who's had zero to do with that kid's life until now. They're not going to take Max away from his home and the people that love him, are they? What, from the people with no blood ties, you mean? Or any real claim? Unless Kylie comes back, we haven't got a leg to stand on, have we? They won't send him to live with a drug pusher. Yeah, well, they won't have to. I mean, Callum might be a bad lad, yeah, but his mum sounds like a flaming saint. Really? Yeah, so all I can do is try not to wind him up and hope for the best. Hi. You waiting for somebody in particular? I hope it's not who I think it is. He just wants to talk. What is it to talk about? Hon, I've told you everything you need to know. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm late. Can we just go and sit down? You get a part over here when you're ready, doll. A fan club been at it again. So is it true? What they've been saying. Look, I've told you, I did used to shift a bit of gear every now and then to make ends meet, but I've knocked all that on the head now. Yeah, well, even David don't seem to think so. How do you make your money anyway? It's not as if you're short. I own a security firm, pub doors, that sort of stuff. So why they're making stuff up then? Well, truth is, me and Kylie had a thing a few years back. David can't handle that. He must think I'm some sort of a threat. Yeah, but Kylie's not here now, so that can't be why David's mad. I guess you're entitled to know the truth. About what? David thinks I'm a threat because me and Kylie had more than a thing. We had Max. I'm his dad. Been rushed off our feet. Oh, come, don't apologize, sweetheart. It's good to see that part of the family empire is doing so well. <laughs> empire? It's a hairdresser's in a restaurant. It's hardly ancient Rome. Still, it's a lot more than I've got to show for my 59 years on the planet. But, such as it is... What you got there? Well, I don't want to be melodramatic or to alarm you. And I know that, more than likely, it won't be needed, but... You haven't. I haven't what? We have to face facts. Things go wrong in an operating theatre, and if that should happen tomorrow, then I want to make sure that what little I do have goes to the people I love most. What is it? A will? I nipped into a solicitor's. I wanted to make sure that everything was watertight. I, I don't want anything Gail, should I? <laughs> I doubt she'll have much use for my snooker cue. I wanted to make sure that all my affairs were in order. Yes, well, I, I suppose it is the prudent thing to do. May I? Yeah. No, I, I don't think you're supposed to open it unless... What, what are you doing, then? I have waited far too long to find happiness, Michael Rodwell. I'm not letting go of it now. So, you are not going anywhere. Well, so Max doesn't know. No, I don't want to spook him by rushing things. I need to get to know him first. I'd like to do the same with you. Well, I don't know. We seem all right, but I just don't want to upset people. You mean her and David? Look, I've told you why he hates me, and as for the barmaid, she wasn't always so hostile. What, you and Eva? Ah. She wanted to, kept hanging around my local. When she finally got the message, she wasn't happy. She's not my type. Most blokes who think Eva's good looking. I'm not most blokes. So come on a date with me and you'll find it out. Bags in the boot, you're ready to go. Thanks. How are you feeling, Michael? Well, I don't know about butterflies in my stomach. I feel like I've got a cement mixer in there. Well, yeah, it's hardly surprising, is it? I mean, it's not every day someone sticks a scalpel in you, slices you up. Uh, do you have to? No, no, he's right, love. There's no point in sugarcoating it. A couple of hours from now, I'm going to be lying on an operating table with somebody's hands inside of me. Well, I prefer to think about afterwards when it's all over and you're on the mend. Touch wood. Well, good luck. Yeah, I'll be thinking of you. Oh, not when I'm eating, obviously. <laughs> Dad, Dad. Oh, yeah, I was wondering when you were going to get in. <sighs> Sorry, it was my fault. I just wanted to say, you know, uh, all the best. Yeah. Fingers crossed, Dave. Thanks. Yeah, well, I'll, um, I'll see you when I see you. I wonder how much longer they're going to keep me waiting. To worry about that, eh? You just think about how in a couple of weeks, when you're all better, 
We'll be making plans for our wedding. You've no idea how much I'd like that. I think I do. Mr. Rodwell, we're ready for you now. I love you. And I love you too. be waiting for you when you wake up. Okay. Hiya. I'm hey. supposed to be meeting someone here. Did there. What's the table for two? Okay. Uh, what's the name? Callum. I know you're going to say you're not exactly his biggest fan. Oh, do you know what, Katie? I mean, if you're dumb enough to go out with me after everything I've told you, then you deserve each other. Sure, you too. Yellow. Um... No, no, it's, it's fine. It's just you had me worried for a bit there. Uh, OK, well, let me sort the kids out, and then I'll come up and get you. All right. Bye. Well, that was Mum. She wants me to get her from the hospital. They're going to be operating on Michael for ages, so she wants me to go get her, bring her home, get some stuff. Okay, okay. So you want to buy the car? Please. You all right? Yeah, fine. Don't go over 15. Put your balance on. You sure you're okay? What do we have to see with Sally Webster? Look, I've told you, all right? Your great granny's had to go back to work, and there's not enough room in Nick's car for me to take you both up there. But I'll be dead quick. All right, and Sally's all right. But you always say she's boring Shh. and that she's a stuck-up cow. Max, what have I told you about being cheeky about your teachers? Hiya, Sally. Um, sorry about this, and thanks for taking them. No, it's fine. I mean, it's not as if it's for long, is it? No, 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 it's not. Um, I'll only be an hour, tops. But there's Lily's things in there, and Max will be all right just watching TV. And the news on Michael? No, no, none yet. Get off that thing. No, nothing yet. Um, Actually, I've left my phone in the house. Uh, look, I better get off, but um, one last favour. Do you mind just keeping them both indoors? Is everything all right? Yeah, I just think Lily might be coming down with a cold, that's all. It's fine, I'll keep them in the house. Yeah, all right, thanks. So, Max, what do you like to watch on the telly? Anything, there's a lot. Michael, whatever it is, I'm busy. Whoa, whoa, whoa slow down, slow down, slow down. Why is the old Bill looking for me? I've done nothing wrong, not that they know about anyway. All right, okay, okay. Look, you find out who grasped us up, I'll take care of things this end. Yeah. Right, don't worry, mate, don't worry. It's all under control. So Time for this. You need to leave now. The world doesn't revolve around you. Don't look so worried. Answer it. PC Fletcher, Weatherfield Police. We're investigating the supply of illegal drugs in the area. We understand there's a Mr. Callum Logan on your premises. Uh, yeah. What's it got to do with him? We'd like to ask him a few questions if we could come in, please. It'll only take a few minutes. Yeah, sure. Come in. Callum, it's the police. Don't come the surprise, look, Callum. <sighs> Who told you I was here? We'll get straight to the point. Where were you today at around half twelve? Oh, have you got nothing better to do? Just answer the question, will you? <sighs> half twelve? You know very well what time. I would have been here. Been here since about eleven. With this gentleman. <laughs> Don't know about gentlemen. <laughs> Your name is? David Platt. And you live here? I do, yeah. It's my house. Well, then. Perhaps you can confirm if what Mr. Logan says is true. It's a simple enough question. Eleven o'clock, you say? That's what Mr. Logan said, not me. Yeah. That sounds about right. That took you a while. 
Yeah, it's just that I wasn't sure, you know, 10 o'clock, 11. You don't have a job to go to, then? No, day off today. So what you been doing? Just... chilling. Mm. Is that against the law now? Where were you? <sighs> What's going on? This is my mum. PC Fletcher, Weatherfield Police. May I ask you where you've been today, Mrs... Uh... McIntyre. I've been at the hospital. My partner's having a heart operation. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. All day has that been? Since breakfast. Well, then. We'll, uh, leave you to it. So, come on. What is going on at the hospital? No wonder you didn't turn up. I'll leave you both to it. And what I don't understand is why was he here in the first place? And I don't want to see you here again. Have you got that? I want some straight answers. Oh, Mum, I've already told you everything. No, don't lie to me, David. I'm amazed you even let him in here. I didn't. I was looking for my phone. I left the door open and he just came straight in. So why didn't you call the police? Because they're already on the way. Why? I've already told you that. Have you not been listening? It's the hospital. Hello? Yes. OK. Thank you. We'll be right there. Michael's at the theatre. Well, is he? They didn't say, but we've got to get there quick. Hey. Where have you been? I am so sorry. Been waiting for about an hour. Oh, I know. So did you get my text messages then? My battery's died. Not all afternoon. But drained, gone. I'll see you later. Yeah. Ring me, yeah? I got here as quick as I could. I'm going to make it up to you. Wait, hang on, I'm not... Look, you just decide where you want to go tonight. I'm going to spoil you rotten. Mm-hmm. If you believe that, you believe anything. Well, I've got him here out now, Anna. You've just spent the last hour threatening to kill him. Yeah, well, we've all had that happen. Battery die. Oh, come on, Katie. He's lying through his teeth. Oh, what? And Gavin's perfect, is he? Look, I either spend the night in when I've got no Joseph or go out with the fittest lad around here. <laughs> what would you do, sir? Please, put us out of our misery. It went well. Oh, oh, sweetheart. Oh. So it's going to be all right? Well, we have to wait and see. I mean, it'll be a few weeks before we know if it was enough. Right, well, I'll make us all a drink then, yeah? Well, you must be so relieved. <laughs> Something, yeah. I mean, I woke up this morning not knowing whether he'd be alive by... Shh, shh, shh. Come on. Do you know, it is wonderful news. Well, you must be relieved too, Gavin, you know... Now the danger's over. You can say that again. Yeah. All you've got to do now is tell Michael the truth.